Welcome to unsubscribe. Don't be an alcoholic because of the war. Be an alcoholic because of your genetics. Welcome to the watch list, or the different one, I guess. Welcome to the community. General Alabaster. You know, this podcast is going to end your political career. There's got to be another war you guys can die in or something. Wait, we got to pop the top first. Three. Hold on. Wait, three, two, one. Crispy's fingers don't work uh, so yeah. good. Yeah, we got to give a little heads up on that one. Got to use them out. My fingers don't Cheers. work so good, Mr. Jackie. Stark. Gentlemen, good it is the Veterans Day episode, so naturally we bought our beautiful burnt boy, Crispy. Our beautiful, not burnt boy. Fat boy. Fat boy. Yeah. Jack Mandeville. And a non-veteran. And our honorary veteran buddy, let, Brandon Herrera. Let me just Brandon, get this taken care of. Excuse me. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> Jack, thank you for your service. Oh, thank you. Christy, you, you're welcome, thank sir. Thank you for your service. You're welcome Eli, for my service. Thank you. Thank you. For your service, thank you. Sir. Brandon, sit down. Oh, God, no. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't I just want to. Wait, what are we doing? Hey, will you take me to fucking chill? No, 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 community as a whole from youtube to reddit to instagram to twitter thank you i'm at a loss for words just the amount of support i i just gotta say thank you thank you for the love thank you for the support thank you for the kindness we're putting them back in ah just, truly thank you for everything for everything you all are amazing humans and this episode is a Veterans Day episode. I wanted to do something special for not only the community, but also all the vets out there, the soldiers, the military. This is an amazing episode. I am, ah, the, the stories you are about to hear, you're going to laugh, you're going to smile, you might cry. I don't think so. We'll figure it out. Guys, gals, thank you for everything. You all are amazing humans. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and go on Apple, Spotify, all those things. Go leave a review. You guys already support us so much. Y'all are amazing. Thank you. Double salute. I knew immediately where that was going. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, if you put that hey, here on. here come the accusations. If all right. you put that on, you can come to Warfighter Scuba because it's we, we require Purple Heart recipients only. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's yours, Brent. <laughs> I'll we just it always. we'll hang it. We'll hand it off for I, parking spaces. I, I got two. I got two. You can have one. God. Oh. Yeah. I was. Gonna, I was actually gonna ask him about that. I was like, man, I only have one. Crispy got. Crispy's got two. That's. I just look thought, at, <laughs> it's my my new souvenir from this episode. Of, uh, <laughs> oh, I was like, I, I was like searching my house. Today. I was like, where the fuck did I put that thing? A beautiful. You're checking under couch cushions. I'm like, huh. uh, Sav was did like, you have it in the, in the box? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh okay. I said, the only reason I know where mine are is because my wife. Sav, Sav put it in the same. Yeah, she like, she's like, here, I'm going to put your parts in next to all your books. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, every, everyone. It is Veterans Day. So we were like, hey, let's get an episode together with some dope ass veterans that we know and uh, just have a good old time today. Saturday is the yep. uh, Amistice Day. Yep. Well, now. Arm Armistice Day. Armistice. Armistice. What is I'm it? Like, Am 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 Amistice. Amistice. It's Amnesty Armis Day. Armistice Day. It started that, in 1918 oh, like and then the Mexican year thing. after. It was actually, I never Eli knew. Cuevas uh, with Amnesty Day. Amnesty Day. I thought he was making that shit up. I'm like, uh, Arms, Armistice, Armistice Day. Armistice Day. Yeah. Armistice and, oh, Day. Started in 11, 19, 11, 11. And then I guess happy, uh, happy belated uh, Marine Corps birthday. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. that's on Friday. Oh, shit. Yeah. Man, all the yeah. holidays are yeah. back to back. I didn't know Veterans Day literally came, like, as you said, 11th hour, 11th day, 11th month, World War One ended. They cited the armistice. We're, got the word right. Oh. And then the next year is when Pe uh, President Woodrow Wilson was like, hey, we have we have to recognize this. But it didn't go into effect until what? Weeks, something weeks. We're the only country that pretty much does Veterans Day, but the rest of the world celebrates Armistice Arm Day. Armistice yeah, Day. Supposed to, supposed to celebrate the, you know, peace. Yeah, the peace. Uh, which and they then could maintain they, in Europe for more than 20 years before they were yeah, back thankfully, at it. But, well, yeah. Thankfully, we signed a very fair treaty with Germany that yeah. would have no repercussions yeah. 17 years at later. At all. 
period. <laughs> well, it's crazy because then it was in until 1947, the um, weeks, the Raymond weeks. He was the father of Veterans Day, so he's the one that made it into an actual national holiday, and Congress passed Someone it in 1954. Yeah. Damn, Skip, you got to. Someone was Googling shit last night. Yeah, yeah cheater. up in here, up in here. Not about that stuff, cameras and stuff, really good. Well, not, uh, <laughs> history, I can just like digest. Okay, remember, good, and it will be deleted by tomorrow. <laughs> if, there's, if, if there's a new camera coming out, I get a fucking text from me like, oh, yeah, bro, same. check this shit out. I'm like... <laughs> I have FX3, bro. I'm good. Like, bro, I'm not gonna lie. You you lost me three sentences in. I was keeping up until then. Now you're now you're in the weeds. I don't. Now, now I have no idea. Welcome, boys. Thank you guys for coming out, having a good old time. Yeah, man. Dude, and then Brandon again. Thank you for your service. Yes, you guys truly Stop. appreciate. No, it. No, 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 no. Did you guys not know he served? He did. No, I, I joke around. I'm like, I I never did anything in the military, but I served a 25 year tour in Fort Bragg. <laughs> I will say this: doing stolen valor is really fucking fun. And it, <laughs> hear me out, Jack Mandeville, twenty twenty three. That's me a out. shirt. Yep. Doing stolen valor is fun. I've been doing it for four, doing camo. Yeah, I've been doing it for four years now, and it's like the best. If you need any tips or anything like that, just, just let me run down real quick. I was doing a USO show uh, some years back, and uh, you know, you chatted up with the troops afterwards, and one of them gave me this cool red hat. Uh, from his, his, he said it was his unit. And I'm like, oh, thanks, man. I put it in my luggage and didn't think about it until we got home. And then I put it on. I was walking around San Antonio, and, and all these dudes were like, hey, were you in Red Horse? Were you Red Horse? I'm like, I don't know what that means. It's like, it's the unit on your hat. I'm like, cool. And then I just, they kept, people got so excited when they'd see this hat. I just started saying, yes, I was Red Horse. <laughs> oh, God. I went into Wikipedia. I can tell you I was out of the 119th Squadron out of uh, out of Nevada. And, and I, I, I started openly telling people I was doing Stolen Valor. So all these Red Horse guys, they got super excited and started sending me all their Red Horse swag. Oh, like no. they were encouraging me to do Stolen Valor. So now I got Red Horse shirts. I got all right, red... When the actual guys are encouraging you to do it, yeah. is it really stolen at that yeah. point? I don't know. Yeah, but, the is yes, but... <laughs> but the key red is horse. you don't go too big. You don't go Seals, Green Berets, all that bullshit because then people know what questions to start asking yeah. you. If you say Red Horse, they're just going to believe you. Yeah. Yeah. Acquired. Yeah. Great. So I'm really proud of my military service with the Red Horse. Speaking <laughs> of Stolen Valor, have you seen that one guy? Who, that, like, the Stolen Valor videos are always kind of funny. But there was that, that one dude who's walking around with, like, full, full uniform, but he's got sneakers on. Oh, like, yeah. like oh, Nikes, yeah. and they're like, yeah. no, 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 I was issued these. Yeah. What, what's your MOS? Uh, my, my MOS issues these, I think is what he said. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, it's not a... Wait a minute. I'm know, pregnant. You know what's crazy? This Out of this whole table, Jack's the only one without a purple heart. And he's been shot. And, and he's been, been shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you know that? I was, yeah, yeah, he told yeah. the story. For a, while, I was, for a while there, I, I, was, I was... At the peak of the Iraq war, I was... Probably one of the, I was probably the only Marine in the Marine Corps with a gunshot wound without a Purple Heart. Yeah. Has he told the story? On oh, the like two last week two or two episodes? weeks oh, ago. Yeah, 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 we had it. We <laughs> don't know because you have two Purple Hearts. That's the one I was like, I actually, I, I think you got shot for your yeah first, the first one. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then I remember, oh, I remember oh, when we were at your house years ago and you were over there and you were. It was oh, late at night. God. And you go, God, I have a headache. And Omar just disappears and comes back and he just. Thank you for your service, Eli. <laughs> that sounds like no, something you fucking that. do. We were talk, we were, I had cooked the brisket, and, and he said something. He's like, can you believe Crispy and I have the same award? And I was like, <laughs> that sounds like an Eli thing. we do. Yeah. <laughs> and someone was like, you got yours playing video games. <laughs> and you were out there. <laughs> I was like, oh. oh what did, how did you get your first one? You got shot. Yeah. Like, just. Firefight. Just random. That's the whole fucking dig into that story. <laughs> no, it's just, yeah, it's Day. <laughs> it's that, 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 that oh shit! Well, you were shooting two ARs at the same time. No, Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, see, that's fly. why you have to expand. <laughs> it's, it's a little hard to tell what you're trying to. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Stop, th throw, <laughs> stop throwing gang signs. Okay. <laughs> so what we, you were, so you were in San Antonio? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh god. Jack's hat brought it out of me. <laughs> so you I were in. Hat. You were in. Was that Iraq? Iraq. Was your red horse hat. And then you were up just on the fifty cal mounted, just laying waste. Yeah, it was a firefight, and like I literally didn't even know. And then I was like, 
Oh wait, what's that warm feeling? Oh cool. That's it. You, you just feel the, you warm feeling. The shields on not yours, not or? at the time. So that was like early on uh, on in the war before. Was that um, 04 or, no, no, that was 06. 06, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it was That was so, that weird transition period. It was because what they ended up doing was after that, like the Iraqis kind of figured it out that they could drop grenades from oh, the yeah. top. So then we built the Hesco baskets. Mm. And then um I guess it was like a was it a I don't remember. I think it was a mechanic. That uh, or um, yeah, it was a mechanic that noticed that a lot of the uh, turrets was being shot at too, and the rounds were going through and wounding a lot of guys. So then that's when they used the extra uh, bulletproof windows yep. to oh, put there. It. So it was like it was an evolution, dude. Like it was crazy because you got to watch it too. It, oh, how yeah, they well, no, yeah, you yeah. were one of the statistics that led to we it. lost a guy. We lost really? a guy to a grenade that they threw from the top. So when you say throwing from the top, where, so where are they trying rooftop. to aim from? They'll drop from when you're going in. Yeah. Patrols you'll have because it's multiple story buildings yeah. a lot of the time. Yeah. So they just they used to also create. They're trying to just like get it to land to on the top of the. Down. Yeah, the they just pretty much like they watch you from like I don't know, let's say a ten, fucking story building or something, right? Yeah. And you're a Humvee on the bottom. I mean, most you're not, of the time yeah. the gunners are scanning. You know, either from nine to freaking three and whatever yeah. area, but you're not really looking up. I mean, yeah. So just you, logistically speaking, are they trying to airburst you, or are they yeah. trying? Okay. No, they're they're popping it, dropping it down, hoping it falls in there and mm. hits a Cat, body inside. Catastrophic kill because yeah. you're like if you want some of the most stressful patrols. It's a day patrol and you're nothing but ten story buildings around you, and you're like, well, today is yeah. high we on that a, list of days. I'm like, no. that's a we, lot of windows. <laughs> We had a guy, they dropped the grenade, and it fell right behind him on the turret, and he couldn't get it to throw it out, and boop, mm. dead. And so then after that, um, it was all trial and shit. Like, I don't even know who came up with the idea, but I, I know we tried it at our post, and we were dropping bricks on top of these Hesco baskets, and then when they were bouncing off, we're like, cool, now we're okay. And then, sure enough, like we went out, and they, they really didn't know that we were doing that. They dropped the grenade and just watched that grenade hit and then bounce off the fucking Humvee and blow up on the side. We're like, cool, we got that taken care of. It may be spooky season, but you don't want to scare people with your scraggly beard. Today, we are brought to you by Manscaped.com. Who has taken a step from the ball of wieners to bring your face the cleanest shave it has ever seen, brother? So this season, there's no toil or trouble. It's just Manscaped. Manscaped's all-new handyman is the best way to get rid of that stubble. Featuring compact design and skin-safe technology. It was designed to give you a smooth finish without traditional technology disadvantages. Get the sweetest treat this season by going to manscaped.com and using code UNSUB to save 20% and free shipping. And for my wolf man out there, there's the Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit. It has everything to tame your mane. Ding! That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com using code UNSUB. For a look sweet as candy, get yourself a handyman from manscaped.com. And then fucking IEDs under the thing. And it was then they put the V-mount system underneath. Like you which do you know who apparently in invented those? Huh? Do you know who apparently invented those? Uh-uh. Frank, Frank from Premier Body Armor. Frank's the one that did the V-mount, the he, hole? Yeah. Oh, that's why. Yep, Frank's he, doing good. He's huh. doing real good. <laughs> you know who invented the IED? <laughs> the fucking Irish man. <laughs> <laughs> But yep. Jack, so when Jack was in, you you had, you didn't even have up armored Humvees yet, right? On your first deployment, I was on LAVs, which they were already a oh, yeah. thinly uh, armored vehicle. But no, yeah, they were everything. I was there for the invasion, so everything was extremely basic. Yeah. This is how fucked up the Marine Corps was in the invasion of Iraq. That I was the first. Wait, were you with Rudy Reyes? Yes, actually. Oh damn it! I yeah, was <laughs> I was in a fire. <laughs> Let me, Rudy. I was in a firefight with him. No shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you shooting at you? Know Rudy? Rudy? Are you shooting at you? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we've met. I don't yeah, know, yeah. Like, I don't know him. No. I love Rudy. He's a good guy. Yeah, I was uh, that recon platoon that they did the series on. We actually were attached to them. They actually covered it in the miniseries. Oh, okay. Uh, our, which one would that be? I was in a our. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Generation, Generation Kill. Kill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I was in. Uh, <laughs> you just like just so casually. Like, yeah, they followed us in that one thing. <laughs> well, I mean, I was in first LAR, but we linked up with him and got into a couple fights with him, I believe. So yeah. With Rudy. Yeah. With his platoon, yeah. You fought them. 
We were fighting Iraqis oh. <laughs> alongside yeah. oh, okay. Rudy Ray as yeah. platoon. It's That's like, his yeah, platoon. We're, we're, we're fighting for cancer. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, wait a minute. Hold on. But this, <laughs> this is how fucked up the Marine Corps was back then. Is I was the first boot camp class to ever get issued the Marpat, the new, the modern camo. But like they still were giving dudes the tricolors, and they were so fucking low on supplies that they had to give some guys like the old chalk. Chocolate chip chocolate camis chip, yep, yep. from Desert Storm, and like I had a fucking um, that chocolate chip you, fucks. You, I had a, you I, imagine I, those Iraqis seeing that? Co- oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> I, I had a uh, flak jacket that wouldn't even fucking Velcro, so the only thing that held it together was my L, my load LPD. bearing vest, which is literally that's what it was used as. It, like I, I only had one plate. I only had plates for my front, no plates Dude, for my back. Brandon, Jesus. so Brand, this, so Brandon, it is crazy when you watch Marines. Even in two thousand, when we deployed, like during the surge, we'd show up. We had M fours. We yeah. had all that. The Marines were still rocking A four, like M sixteen A twos, A four. From fucking Vietnam. Oh yeah. And you're like, oh my god, you're deploying to me. Yeah. <laughs> we're paid to say. I got, I had a buddy who got deployed in like, it was, it was later. It was like 2012, I think. Still got deployed with an old school A two. Oh shit! Yeah, iron sights. Fuck yeah, man! I got to Iraq because I was a I was a Bradley gunner, so I had a fucking SBR. It was like fucking cool <laughs> with an ACOG, and then you look at the Marines, you're like, Did they just get out of boot camp Who or the something? Fuck, are these guys? Dude, <laughs> and I swear, you know what I can't stand though about like like Marine veterans on the internet is when they're like, they don't even train with iron sights anymore. I'm like. Oh, you mean they're more lethal now? They're like better killers? Does that, does that bother you? Everybody knows the story of the, the whole thing when they first issued Marines uh, ACOGs. Yeah, you know that, I was there for that. Because yeah. they, they thought uh, they, they literally got investigated for war crimes because they thought they were executing people because it was all headshots. Oh, no shit. Yeah, they, they were like their ratio of headshots went up dramatically. They thought that they were executing people. Because and they're like, no, they just you gave them fucking modern optics. And now they're. F- yeah. yeah. Wow, look at that. They're. Proficient it's kind of eye. like one of those internet stories. Yeah, yeah it's, I mean, it makes sense. I hate it. irons. Love learning on them originally, and yeah. then once you start getting an M sixty eight A cox, anything like that, you're like, oh. everybody should know how to use irons. Nobody should use irons. Yeah. yeah. Yes, one hundred percent. When you first start shooting, yes, I agree. Shooting at th- those three hundred, you have to shoot like fifty to three hundred yards for basic training for yeah. your qual. That three hundred with irons, you're just like. What I can't that? even see the fucking target yeah. at past 300. It's like, it's, I, don't it's even, I don't even remember us doing that, to be honest with you. We did that? Yeah. Fuck, I don't know. I've been out so long. I don't fucking know. Because when you joined in, oh. I'm, I'm seen out. I don't know. When did, what year did 04. you? 04. 04, yeah, yeah. You were one year before me. You were late 04? Yeah. Yeah. Like mid, mid 04, like June. Yeah. And then yeah. Jack was pre 9 11. No, I went to boot camp in oh, 02. During. Oh, wait. I, it would just happen. I right? enlisted on. I enlisted. On August 11th, 2001. Because you're, wow. you're old as fuck, right? What are you, 40 something? Just turned 40, baby. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. I made it. <laughs> I, I didn't, I, I'm honestly. I, I'm still here. I didn't We're proud of you. Plan it this far, so I'm kind of trying to figure shit I out know, right now. I, I did was, not expect this. Literally, like, I've been waiting on my phone to get the call. Like, hey, I was like, yeah. He yeah. finally did it. <laughs> but when he hit 40, I was like, oh, fuck, he's going to be around oh, wow. for a while. Damn it. So he's going to be one of those, like, Jack's going to live to 90. And considering what he's done to no, his 130. Body, Jack, how can I believe Jack in God at this point? All of us. Right. <laughs> I, dude, I actually I was looking at uh, photos because I was trying to tell somebody like I, I was telling telling them about you and I was looking for for photos online. I didn't realize because we've only we'd only really known each other for like four years ish, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Uh, your your photos from like the the range fifteen days where you like clean up your hair or whatever. You were a sexy motherfucker. <laughs> I had no idea. That's yeah. crazy, man. I, that was the first time I learned that you can you can be rotten looking as fuck, and as long as you have good game, chicks are going to be into it. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, I, I was walking around L.A. looking like a Civil War general for like. Three Three weeks, and but I was like, that was the best game I ever had. General I was like, Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just. Um, we just did pick up know, shots. I cut. Think, you guys will get I it later. Physically, as far as looks, I, 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 I had a good thirty-two. I was, I was. That was a sexy year for me. Yeah, yeah. Dude, isn't it sad? Look, if you think about it, you you're gonna bury all of us, but no one's gonna bury you. Yeah, Jack. I'll be the last one to tell y'all stories for you. I hope you live to be 130. I'd rather no one else tell them. Yeah. Yeah. Jack's going to shit on us. Yeah. <laughs> I've been interviewing a lot of World War II veterans lately. And, you know, it's like they're the last ones of their unit, oh, right? Yeah, and you kind of realize, like, you see it in them that they realize, like, it's on them to correctly 
tell the story. Oh, but also sometimes I think like, how do you know, how do I not, how do I know if I'm not talking to like the biggest shit bag, bag in the dude. unit right now? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like, you guys, sorry, not all the World War II vets were spectacular humans. Yeah, they were all shit perfect soldiers. There's always every platoon in every war in history has a fucking turd in it. We all know our shit bags yeah, in our think squad about the shit bag and in, platoon. <laughs> think about the shit bag in your platoon and think about what he would say if he's the only one that gets to speak for everybody. Oh, I know. Oh my God! You think about how the stories would be, and that's when I saved my entire. They they put me in for a medal of honor. I turned it down. Yeah, yeah. I was too busy saving more of my men. Yeah. <laughs> they put me in three times. Uh, it's, yeah. it's no big deal. Yeah. Instead, of, yeah, thank God. They wanted to promote me to lieutenant, but I said no, sir. Send me to the brig. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I ended up in the brig. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a chesty puller the, reference, isn't it? That's how I ended up with the red horse. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, yeah. god. <laughs> My favorite unit out of all the military units. Because wasn't it wasn't it the uh, the whole like uh, you send me to the brig? That's where I'll find yeah. the real marines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an old chesty quote. Oh, oh was well, it? no wonder I didn't know what I the fuck so. you were talking about. Yeah. I'm not surprised. That's like the one Nick did. Um, who was the crazy soldier? There's that... been a few. He's Why done. Why are you bleeding? No. Oh, what the hell? Was that a tattoo? That's blood. You saw you, now. You now you're like, I, and like, I'm like well, demonetize I'm like, for gore. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. no data. It's data. It's yeah. data. And we'll do what? Uh, no. Um, Why are you dadding? God, who was the <laughs> the guy dadding all over the table? <laughs> the filthy <laughs> five. The uh, McNasty. Yeah, McNasty. Yeah. It's like that guy was a just true. He they just gave him the like the worst of the worst, and he turned them into. It's like inglorious bastards. Yeah, basically. You're, like you were talking to Jack here, and he might be that guy from fucking. Uh, Saving Private Ryan that lets the fucking Germans go by and he's oh the guy that off him, I like everyone knows off <laughs> the masculine urge to strangle him dude, through the dude, TV screen. I've never that I've not, I was like twelve when that came out and I just remember violently screaming at the kill them <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> It was, you, I'm getting you pissed imagine now. Being, I know. <laughs> you imagine being related to that fucking guy and you watch that shit all the time and like. Fuck, man. Imagine that's your dad's Great your grandfather. Out, yeah, exactly. God, I'm people don't want to admit it, but statistically speaking, a lot of people, their little war hero grandfather could have been an opum. <laughs> Grandpa ain't telling you that story. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, do you want the best sleep? You know? Well, I can tell you the greatest bed and mattress product in the world. It is from ghostbed.com. Today we are talking about the great deals. At ghostbed.com. And the, one of the best parts of the ghostbed is the cooling technology. Senor, I know what you're thinking. Por que? Because if you're like me and you're in Texas, the nights are hot and you need the cooling technology. See? That's right. Right now, if you use unsubscribe at ghostbed.com slash unsubscribe, you get 50% off everything. Everyone loves discount to that value. Go! Buy the best bed you can with ghostbed.com. Uh, actually, on a serious note, all of us use ghostbed now. It is all the rooms here at Unsub, my bedroom, the pillows, the sheets, everything is ghostbed. You spend 30% of your life in a bed. Upgrade your stuff and save 50% while doing it. Code unsubscribe. Go. 50%. You're yeah. never like one time I let a German walk by <laughs> me after he stabbed my friend in the neck. Everybody yeah. assumes that when Grandpa doesn't want to talk about the war, it's because he did gnarly <laughs> shit. Because <laughs> he was a piece of it's shit. He was a piece of shit. He ate the last hot meal, yeah. and he ate twice, that son of a bitch. Yeah, if Grandpa's look is like this, he's like, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. That's not a thousand yard stare. Yeah. That's I fucked up in yeah. that war they period. Like yeah. it's like, I remembered. Fuck, I fucked up. I can't go to the reunions. Oh, is it too hard to see your old comrades? No, they, they don't invite me at all. <laughs> yeah, that that was like my my great grandfather was in the Pacific in uh, World War II as a combat dozer, like combat engineer, and he he did Pacific, then Korea, then Vietnam. Oh, That's what Red Horse advisor. does. They're like combat engineers. But Just want to let you know he did he, all he, of them. Oh yeah. He was an advisor in Vietnam. Oh, okay. Like, I was like, oh, he has two stars. Spooky shit. But he... Uh, well, now if he's an engineer, he doesn't. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah. I don't I know what he forget. did in... V well, I don't know what he did in Korea. I know he was like a spook advisor in, in Vietnam, but... Yeah, you know, uh, he's talking about infantry. 
Like I oh, forgot oh, that. Yeah. So yeah, you get a reef. I'll let you finish. Yeah. You get a reef if you do combat. You get a reef with a star, star if you've done yeah. a war. Two different campaigns. Yeah, two different comp. Hey, I'm, I'm giving this water bottle the purple heart because I just killed it, man. <laughs> I don't think that's what it's for. <laughs> We're, we're now just downplaying the Purple Heart to this. Uh, 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, Eddie's, attention orders. Yeah. On this day. Oh, oh <laughs> do, hey, everybody knows Clint here, right? Yeah. Clint's a party animal. Clint doesn't give a... He's a great guy, and, like, uh, he's just, like... Ask, ask uh, Angry Cops. Do we, do we use his real name on this? Yeah, Rich. Yeah, Rich. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ask Rich... About the time he was drunk walking around uh, St. Petersburg, Florida with Clint's Medal of Honor around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I oh love my, my friend wait, group Clint so Rosha? much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Clint, yeah. Clint, Rich was wearing Clint it. Is, Clint, I, I, you know, Angry Cops was walking with Clint. Him. They were both had a few drinks and Clint's here. Have it and put it on him. And he's just walking around downtown St. Petersburg, <laughs> huffing our- cigarettes, Medal of Honor around his neck. Clint's walking behind him. Oh. Yeah. Well, that, that fucker can steal that. <laughs> I love our friend group. Everyone's Jesus. just like, like whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Leroy Peter and I went back to Afghanistan to talk to the troops in 2013, and we were flying in, in a private plane from one part of Afghanistan to the other. And he's like, so a, pri- a private plane sounds really cool until you mention the Afghanistan. Part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I gotta go to the bathroom, and he gets up and his his medal of honor breaks, and he's like. Fuck. And I'm like, oh, that sucks. He goes, You can't just go to the PX for that. Yeah, yeah. He goes, Here, hold this. I'm going to go pee. And I was like, Okay. You should have put it around oh, your neck. No, no, <laughs> no. I waited like this for him the whole time. I'm like, Is he back? Is he back? What do I do with this? You just didn't like, move with it. No, I was like this like the whole time. I was like, Here. And he don't goes, breathe. I didn't hey. breathe on and it. And then he's like, What are you doing? I was like, I, I don't, I don't know what to do with this. I can't imagine putting a fuck that. That's a particularly heavy I don't metal, care like not how physically, but like drunk. I am. I'm not. I don't know. Fuck you, Rich. Ninety percent of the audience that uh, wait. Ninety percent of the ninety percent are dead when, post uh, humorously. Post humorously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah I think it's like substantial humorously, yeah. humorously, humorously, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I don't know. How not to say humor, it. humorous, post, humorously. It was post, fucking post, funny. Post, <laughs> no. How do you say it? Post homously. Funny Post-hom- story. My buddy Post-hom- jumped oh, on a Jesus grenade. Christ, now I don't know how to fucking say it. <laughs> Google. Posthumously. 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 Thank yeah. you so much. Jesus but yeah, it's, it's funny how hey different. I'm gonna admit there's some fucking kind. Of, I'm, I'm kidding. I don't want to do this. I just. I, just, I don't want. I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'm kind of retarded. So another <laughs> another Medal of Honor story is Clint uh, was supposed to come to this function down in San Antonio Clint where Bush, where Bush was speaking, um, and he's gonna be like Who's a Bush. Sp- the former president, the one so that's responsible for all of our war so stories. Fucking yeah. Say uh, his name, President Bush. Jorge Bush. <laughs> Jorge W. Bush. Uh, so uh, he was going to be a special guest and all that, but last minute thing, he couldn't make it. He's like, do you just want to go instead of me in my spot, and sit at the table? I'm like, yeah, cool. But what I did is, um, and I, cu- I couldn't get it done on time. I actually, so I have it. But I got, uh, since the Medal of Honor guy couldn't make it, I got a National Defense Medal made that I could wear around my neck. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, but it did, It showed up, like, the day after the ah, event. Yeah. Fuck. But I have this National Defense Medal that I wear around my neck. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone out there that's like, those are sacred. A lot of us fuck you. just make yeah. <laughs> like, Fuck you. If you're we, that uptight, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They we're going to give Brandon one soon. Uh, Dude, he's just going to walk no, around with yeah. a Medal of Honor. I, 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 it reminds me of that story I, I said about like how my backpack, like that like multi-cam oh, backpack or whatever, yeah. I was telling them, I, the only uh, patch I've got on it, because it's got a little patch there, it's just like a, 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 like a Ranger tab, but it says special needs. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> And then the, he got stopped. Oh, oh, yeah. well, so I'll tell the story again. I'm sorry. You guys are already, I'll, I'll make it brief. It's so I good. got stopped in an airport. Some like really nice lady like tapped me on the shoulder as we're waiting in line to board the plane. Said, Excuse me, sir. Uh, I just wanted to ask you what your, your patch means. So, Pat. Oh, oh, sorry, ma'am. That's just a, it's like an, it's an internet joke. I'm just, you know, kind of self-deprecating humor. And it's just, you know, it's a joke patch. She looks so defeated. She's like, oh, well, my, uh, my son has special needs, and he really wants to join the military. I didn't know if that was a, a special division or, oh, or something like that. And I'm just like, yeah, the oh, red I, horse. Feel, I feel about that tall. And then fucking AJ Wilkerson's like, and you didn't tell her about the Marine Corps? <laughs> dude, AJ had the best guy. Dude, AJ came in with the best. You were saying the red horse? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, shit. Little shirt idea I drew up. Medal of Honor. <laughs> What's that jack? This looks like a I jack. Saw, oh, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I think you put that in the group chat at one you know, point. Yeah. You know I text with Clint every morning? Oh, I didn't know that. So Clint, Clint Romache and I have this, this, this um, agreement, gentleman's agreement. We used to You're married for tax reasons. Yeah, you're right. We used to pheasant hunt together in South Dakota for like fucking five years in a row. Um, anyway, so we, we were we were in the lodge, and I remember pulling my phone because where we were at was fucking freezing. And I'm like, I wonder what the weather is like back at home in Texas. And I look at it, and it was like, I don't know, like 90 or something, maybe 100. And where we were at was fucking zero. And he's like, bro, you know what we got to do? I was like, what? He's like, we're going to fucking text each other every day. And if the weather is ever like this, 100 like degrees difference, we're taking our shot first thing in the fucking morning. And I was like, yeah. So every morning, I don't, I don't know my phone, we fucking screenshot the weather and we send it to each other. We're like, ah, oh, man, we got close. <laughs> but it's right day, there. Where's he, where's he we, live? Let's send a picture to Clint live on air. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, no, it's my fault, guys. Best I could do right there. I thought it was good. It will work. Um, he's in he's in North Dakota. Oh well, that, yeah, yeah, well, well we don't know. Yeah, that's that there's happens a lot more often than you think. There's been times where we got in close and I'm like, bro, I don't I don't drink anymore. Like, fuck. I'm like, I don't know if I want to take a Dude, shot at that guy. Do you have to send that guy to each other? Can throw oh, yeah. him back. Clean can. Yeah. He's uh they got Scott Eastwood to play him, which was very kind to him. Dude, uh, Scott physically. Eastwood, one of the most handsome men you will ever yeah. see. <laughs> uh, the outpost, but he's played by oh, Scott oh, okay. Eastwood. Yeah. And, he, and, you know, Clint's not an ugly man, but um, not Scott Eastwood level. Not, they were not very to, kind to him in that not too many, he, Not too many humans are that level. Uh, hi, boys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, Clint. dude, Clint can freaking Yeah, he can. He's an party, alcoholic. dude. He's a function alcoholic. That's, that's <laughs> the state of North Dakota right there. Yeah, catching yeah. strays over here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Wait Brandon just goes yeah. into the bushes. I have no idea what they're yeah. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, drink that much. I Homer Simpson back into the liquor cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the booze goes around. <laughs> it's like, ah. Oh, oh. So, Jack, you have a story to tell today. Ooh, Ooh yeah. I want to. Um, you said it was a Veterans Day episode, so I thought this would be a fun little fun fact story. Yeah. Uh, there was a, a, a period in American history. Um, where we had uh, uh, an entity called the Bonus Army. Um, yeah, dude, he texted me. And he was like, do you know about the Bonus Army? I was like, what? I'm huh? so lost right now. It's a really cool story. So okay. just to predate it, uh, How does a Marine veterans a- have always perplexed and been at odds with politicians since the days of the Roman legions. This yeah. is nothing new. No. Better, veterans being headaches to the establishment. Um after the revolution, that's when they created the first pension programs for American veterans. And based on what rank you are, you got a certain amount of acreage for your service. And they never really updated it. And acreage? Yeah. yeah. I, I enlisted dudes were like given 40 acres. Yeah. If fuck! You're, if, you're an off, know, right? if you're an officer, fuck! you got like 1,200 <laughs> acres. And like, what's the equivalent of like uh, $20 million today? Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of... Revolutionary War officers, they you know they they went into Tennessee and they just fucking got land. But uh, me and Chris, we got free parking lots. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I, get up for, I get upfront parking at Lowe's. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you get premier parking at DJs. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a whole deal. Same get, thing. One hundred twenty. I, I get to park for free at the fucking airport. airport. Well, that shit's expensive, so <laughs> you earned that. <laughs> but go on. Uh, that's why I really lobbied for my uh, getting shot in the armory in San Diego, Purple Heart. I just want that free parking. <laughs> Isn't it a red heart when it's the non-combat one? Uh, they don't it's give you some, anything. No. They lose your medical records, which is what happened to me. So there's no, there's did not even, really? Yeah. There's no proof of me ever being did, shot other than like they, eyewitnesses. Did they lose it or did whoever was in charge lose it? It, it got lost on the way to Iraq. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Military, government yeah, paperwork, so, so good. Uh, World War One vet, you know, and people forget. You we, had a chance for stolen valor, bro. You could have fucking reopened that wound in oh, Iraq yeah. and be like, I got shot. I got shot. Oh, yeah. God, I missed stolen valor opportunities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> Uh, why just entire why career weren't we is friends? That could have helped you out. I wasn't really thinking stolen valor when I was active duty. It's not something that manifested until I've been years out of the military. Mm. And it's just fun. I love it. You had late term 
Stolen, stolen Valor, Valor, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a delayed onset. Yeah. 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 It's stolen He's, Valorism. He, he was in the delay uh, entry program. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. D-O-S-T. Yeah. <laughs> or D-O-S-P, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Go no, ahead. it's okay. Um, so World War One. people forget with the, the American entrance into World War One. we were really only there for a year, and even that year, it was like fucking yeah. Yeah. nuts. But uh, All we did was basically just tip the scales to where it was it. unconditional uh-huh. surrender. Yeah. yeah, and so uh, a lot of Americans... Uh, got brought into service real fast and then exited out of service real fast. But they were promised certain bonuses and benefits for having done that. And they were supposed to be paid out over time. But basically what happened is the the Great Depression happens. So now there's a financial mess going on. Oh, I remember the story. Yeah. 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 And so around 1932, uh, they were like, fuck this. We want what's promised to us. So like 20,000 of them converged on Washington, D.C. and basically, for lack of a better term, squatted, but they set up like- On a, like the Capitol lawn. On the lawn in D.C., they set up like, like they brought their wives and everybody, like they set up a, an entire fucking community in D.C., That's within D.C., and they just started- Dude, there was somebody else tried to do it again recently. They, it, it was, they were trying to push for this exact I'm same in. thing. Oh, yeah, shit. and they were like lobbying every day, marching around D.C. every day, you know- protesting every day and it got to point like the marine corps always loves to bring up dudes like smedley holy shit smedley butler smedley butler smedley butler you know two-time medal of honor recipient but people forget smedley butler when he left the marine corps became vehemently uh anti-war pro-veteran uh outspoken critic of american foreign policy and, and trying to take care of american veterans uh so smedley butler was in their ranks and he was a Two-time, two-time, two-time Medal of Honor recipient. Bro, what do you even do against a man that has two? Like, you suck his dick. Yeah. Apparently called the Capitol Police. <laughs> well, so what <laughs> happened was oh, is they sent the cops in there to disperse him, and two veterans got killed. They beat the shit out of, like, 100 cops. It, it makes, like, the fucking BLM shit that happened a couple years ago and, and the January 6th stuff, like, it makes it look like fucking child's play. Yeah. It was a fucking, Damn. it was insane around there. And so now that the, the, the police chief of DC was like, all right, I'm just going to contact the army. And at that time, the chief of staff of the United States army was Douglas MacArthur and had his underling with him, Dwight Eisenhower. Eisenhower didn't want to do it. Eisenhower was like, this is a bad idea. We shouldn't get involved with this. This is a police matter. Uh, Douglas MacArthur is a fucking gigantic piece of shit. And if you see a Douglas MacArthur statue, fucking deface it, graffiti it. He's a fucking moron. Isn't that Punch also his great great son in the face? Isn't that also hold on, maybe? Uh, isn't that also like literally against habeas corpus, like in the constitution? There's a lot of fucking yeah. constitutional was, issues. Yeah, because like the U.S. military is not that. allowed to be. Basically, long story short, constitutionally, the U.S. military is not allowed to be used against its own civilians, yeah. especially yeah. in D.C. Yeah, I mean, hell, there was like some constitutional issues with the Civil War for that exact reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I remember. That's why Abraham Lincoln suspended it because he was such a great guy. But <laughs> they didn't even bother to suspend it there. I don't think they just fucking went in. Yeah. Shit. And so they what tear the- gassed the motherfuckers. A baby died. Uh, they and they just beat the shit out of all these veterans. Chased them out of D.C. They brought in 500 infantry soldiers, 500 cavalry uh, soldiers, and a fucking tank unit compan- commanded by George Patton, which one of the leaders of the bo- Bonus Army, one of the big faces of the Bonus Army. Small world shit. Literally, literally saved Patton's life in World War One too. Got what's the sec in the the distinguish crosses yeah, yeah, just the below the medal of honor yeah, yeah, for yeah. saving Patton's life in world war one Patton acknowledged that this guy saved his life this guy personally appealed to Patton not to fucking involve himself and Patton yeah. did the whole you know he, he, you know he was a uh, no that you know Patton fucking went with it anyways uh, kind of fucked over his old war buddy basically yeah. guy who saved his life it was like a disaster, and it was like the reason why, arguably, there's a. It was a big reason why Hoover lost his reelection to FDR. Yep. Uh, it was like it was a bad look, um, but there were good things that came out of it. Like that, basically, that turned the tide. They finally were like, okay, we're going to give you your benefits. We don't want to have this happen again. Plus, it for it, a while. It's what yeah, yeah. It's what created the fucking Montgomery GI Bill, pretty much. Uh, which is, in my opinion, one of the top three greatest pieces of legislation in the history of the United States. Oh, yeah. Fully agree on that one. I, yeah. I did not know any of that. So that's where the GI... I, I still would have taken There's a reason acres. they don't specifically teach you guys that bit of history. Right. 
Yeah, because... Do you want 40 acres or pay for your college? I'll do the 40 acres, please. Look what uh, happened in Rome when their soldiers weren't getting paid. They were like, oh, yeah. We're just going to create our own war. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Called over belly. You yeah. made us real good at this one thing. We're yeah. going to show you how good we were at this thing. Yeah. I'm, oh my God, I'm more surprised. So right, this, these, this is starting to feel like a rally, guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's so welcome to unsubscribe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you have cut. Also, welcome <laughs> to the watch list or the different one, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm still more impressed because imagine us going in and like, hey, you have to rally these individuals. By the way, one of them has two Medal of Honors. I'd be like, bros, I, no, I'm not rallying any of. Them. They're probably right. I'm assuming if one of these dudes leading this has two Medal of Honors, how many? Two we should Medal at least hear them out. Well, and that's been. also a First Amendment issue. In too. the Marine Corps, there's yeah. been two. It's a they're right to two, protest. Right? Dan Daly, Smith. The Pacific. Uh, oh yeah, that's a good. They yeah, were that's, all... that's literally a right to peaceably assemble and protest. That's yeah, yeah. And and there's a lot more to that story. I gave a real brief synopsis, yeah. but you know, they, for the mo they were nonviolent. And what happened too is <laughs> there's babies there. Basically, I when, when the army crossed the fucking bridge into D.C. The veterans at first thought that they were coming to like help, help them, support them. Yeah. yeah. And so th at first, all the guys were cheering when they saw the army come over because, like, oh, fuck yeah, they're on our side. And then started fucking throwing gas at them and shit. And take note of yeah. this. Literally take note of take note of this. And there, there, there <laughs> no is, one has your back. There, there's a picture of MacArthur and Eisenhower. Uh, Eisenhower was a major at the time. MacArthur was like a he was a. Uh, I'm gonna go vandalize that Eisenhower fucking street. Uh, Dwight Eisenhower, <laughs> to his credit, uh, you know, the, within no, the no, he's still the within the confines of following orders. He made his opinion on that engagement very vocal before yeah, going into it. That's the bullshit. Also, like Patton also had his redemption arc later a bit in that way, as far as like his disillusion with the military industrial complex. Yeah. Like he, yeah. after, toward the end of died. World War II. Yeah, Coincidence? He was very strange. Yeah, yeah. That whole thing about like we were fighting the wrong enemy. It's like, yeah, the, the communists is like, uh, the communists are going to be, that's the big, we, why are we siding with these people? Yeah. This is going to be the next war. That's what a lot of people don't understand. It is that war changes you. Uh, war, and I probably speak for a uh, majority of this table, for especially us, Brandon. Yeah, yeah. Brandon. Yeah. War like sounds three cool. Three quarters of it. <laughs> war sounds cool until you do war. And then you're like, ah, this is not you as start much ask, fun. You start asking questions well, also, a lot more. I'll, I'll put a caveat on that too. War sounds cool until you study it. You, like yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Without you, a doubt, you get shot at, you get that, and, you, and then you watch like buddies. Whatever it happens, it is like it is a reality check of like, <laughs> oh man, I am fragile as fuck. This is something. I, it, having the mindset, it's like your life can end or your buddy's life can end in the flash of a second, and, and you live that's like it. that for months at a time, and then you just have to shut it off. Yeah, it doesn't have. There's no. It's well, not only that. Your fucking adrenaline is here, and then it goes. Oh here, man! And then, and then here, and then you fucking dump. That it. sounds Dude, like a Friday night out, bro. I fucking <laughs> I'll never forget my first firefight. I that was the best sleep I ever fucking got. Yeah, in my after life. you crashed. Yeah, bro. you smoked yeah. a cigarette. Uh, I did. For well, sure. I swear, dude. Yeah. Every time a firefight, I'd be like, "Give me a." F <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I smoked that crazy too. <laughs> <laughs> But you do that, and then you get home, and then you're like, I wonder why I'm depressed. Oh, because your testosterone's fucking 10, motherfucker. Yeah. That yes. blew my yeah. mind when you said that the VA yeah. doesn't even begin to cover no. TRT. No. no. So they do. They, so this is how they get away with it. They have a program, mm. and they're like, hey, your testosterone's at 35. Here's some testosterone. Which, for those who don't know, like, 300 is, yeah. is a low yeah. mark. Yeah. That is insane. Like, that is, you are a woman. Yeah. Yeah. And it's then, like sa starting a sad lawnmower. Yes. Like, <laughs> Your PP like does not. Has yeah. more than 35 when they're born. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, like, like women need more than yeah. that. <laughs> and then they give you testosterone and they're like, here, take uh, this dosage every two weeks. And it's like, well, that's not how this fucking works. Like if you're going to start somebody on TRT, it's once a week at, at a the dosage. At the bare minimum. At the bare minimum. And even then you're going to have peaks and yes. valleys. Ideally, and, and you want to be like once every three, four days. Exactly. And so then they only give you one vital, and they're like, here, when you're done with it, let us know. And then you let them know. They're like, you used it too fast. You're going to have to wait another two weeks. You're like, what in the fuck? So you're doing this to your fucking Which, body. Which, that's worse. That's it worse is. And then it starts fucking with your psych. It starts fucking with everything else. Shit starts to shut down. Like, it is insane. And, and it's fucking ridiculous that it's so hard to get on a testosterone regimen, TRT, through the VA. 
To cavi- I mean, to, like to to piggyback off that military term, it is fuck you, VA. You have this mindset of, or from a psychological standpoint, when when you do combat, when your stress levels are up and down all the time, mm-hmm. it's conditioned into um, hypervigilance. Hypervigilance is what the problem is with a lot of veterans. You you can't turn that off once your body adapts to that. This is. From my doctor, my psychologist was like, oh, yeah, that is you, your body. Once it is programmed, that is flight or fight. That is in you yeah. and ingrained in you for indefinitely. Which you're is indefinitely. just overstimuli. Yeah. Yeah. So you're always, that's why you have the thousand yards stare. That's why you're checking your locks. That's why each one of these things <laughs> happen from it. And you have to realize that. And then you have to build a tool belt in order to yep. manage it. Otherwise, you're just like, why am I depressed? You're why not going to get rid of it. You need to manage it. Have you ever seen the, uh, after World War One those shell shock videos yeah. that, of those guys? They just prop them up against a wall and just yeah. violently. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw that. That shit was scary. Because your brain. Because that's where like, the, the solution of that was you get slapped and told to get over yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. really oh, understand. good patent reference right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it, that's exactly it. Like, you got to manage but, it. You got to find... You gotta find the things that help you. Like for me, like it's it's hunting, the outdoors, it's fucking going to the range. Yeah. I recently like fell in love with fucking scuba diving again because I went down to Honduras with my buddy Nick and runs Warfighter Scuba. We went down there for a whole week, had a fucking blast. Like I was under the water, weightless, didn't have my prosthetic on, and I was like. Holy shit, I can do things. And I'm like, woo, you know, like. It's the then, exact opposite of you getting burnt. Pretty much. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> it is the contrast. Yeah, yeah. You're like, this is the worst day of my life. This is the best I'm day of my life. Fire, yeah. and water, then like, and then I'm like, airbender. Yeah, and then 20 minutes later, I'm pointing up, like, I gotta go up. And they're like, why? I was like, I'm out of air. <laughs> <laughs> I was too excited. I just started but, doing stolen valor, man. <laughs> <laughs> that shit but, gets but me yes, off. Manage it. Find your fucking thing that's for you, and and then use that to not only cope but manage what you're going through in okay. a healthy way. In a healthy way. In a healthy way. And that yeah. is like so. It, what, what, like not to cut you off, but like when you're talking about a tool belt, what 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 is I guess what are some of the management tactics? I just Thanks. said it, bitch. No, well, I that, know you. That, that's that's <laughs> really good. Thank you, Brandon. I no, was talk. trying to give Eli a platform uh, to talk about his because uh, he doesn't scuba. Yeah, I'm not a. Scuba. But we're I'm trying to get him to do it, but he's been a bitch. To water. Here, you might need this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's afraid of the water. I don't know why. No, everyone's going to have their different issues. Yeah. And you're going to, when you get back, you, you're you not going to, you, your buddies, everyone's going to ha- like approach it in a different manner and how you react in different ways. Like you might get really unstable and nervous from the slightest pop or sound. Or you could just be looking outside and be like, why is that car there? And yeah. when we got back, a lot of people, it's like not having your gun on your side. Really fucking weird. It's uh, it's a Pavlovian thing. Yeah, where you're just trained to have yeah. your hands on that weapon. We're there for a minute. A lot of veterans are getting pulled over because they see a bag on the road and they go yeah. out of their swerve. way to swerve, yeah. and people yeah. are getting pulled over left and right. I remember that being a fucking thing. Yeah, dude. When you get back, yeah. you're like, ah, trash on the side of the road. Holy shit! Like, yeah. and you puckered up, like, fuck. Here and we again, go. Like, if it wasn't for the fucking Irish, we wouldn't be having those issues, <laughs> bastards. <laughs> We're looking at you. Or the tweak. Soviets for leaving so much fucking munitions behind. That's you know? yeah. <laughs> but with it, it is talking Those to Those stingers it. that we sent really paid <laughs> off. Oh, all the best missile systems we gave them. Rocky, well, not Rocky what, Three, uh, Rainbow, Rainbow Three. Rainbow three. <laughs> this this, uh, this well, movie is dedicated to the brave fighters of the Mujahideen. It's like, oh, God. we basically funded Saddam's uh, invasion of Kuwait, and then then we put an end to it. But it like, we been we gave him money all throughout the eighties. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, we gave a lot of people money. Well, are we talking about Tim Osmond yet? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's do that? Guys, do you know that? Well, uh, we'll, we'll caveat Tim, and then go but, on yeah. to that because I don't know that. It is Sorry, like yeah. for everyone out there just. If you have those issues, you have two benefits for benefits from it. You go talk to a therapist, get help with that, and then also look. As Brandon was saying, it's like the tool belt or the question he was asking. That belt is going to help not only you but your buddies going through those same experiences. It's like, it's like, hey Eli, you had your nightmares. You were dealing with this. This is how you uh, reacted to PTSD. Was it anger? Was it this? It's like mine wasn't that, but here is what I battled with each night or each day or once a week. 
try these methods and see if they help you, buddy. And yeah. then they, they, it can, or they'd be like, well, that didn't help. Okay, hey, I have another friend that's more similar to your okay. experiences. And then you start building a healthy community around you. Exactly. And yeah. then now it's like a licensed professional is helping with those tools. Your buddies are helping with those tools. Now you have a community, which at the end of the day yeah. is what it's soldiers. Important. Yeah. yeah, veterans. That's yeah. that's the one of the main Could, things. It's like, I lost my mission. I yeah. don't know what the fuck to do. I don't I, have a I community. Think a point, like at the beginning of the war, like when we were all kind of getting out and shit, uh, and not, not, this is not shitting on everybody else, but I think we all had the. Let's go fucking drinking. Let's go get drunk. That's being yeah. that's and that's being young. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we're gonna and in a permissive drink. culture. Yeah, we're gonna drink. We're fucking. We're gonna live forever. Type deal shit. And, and that then, can exacerbate a lot. Yeah, yeah, that too. And then you imagine get, a depressant yeah. making it worse. And then you get into your thirties and you realize, like, well, fuck, dude, being drunk all the time is no good for anybody. Um, I'm I'm a fucking asshole. People don't like me. But I'm still stuck in this fucking and bro. Don't be an alcoholic because yeah. of the war. Be an alcoholic because yeah. of your genetics. All right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, to be to be real too. Like, if you're talking about like overconsumption of alcohol on top of depression already, yeah, tough. you're fucking with your gut health, which is fucking with your serotonin, which yeah. is making you more depressed. More and then you can't yeah. fucking sleep. Yeah, dumb fucks. You Anyways. can't sleep. You can't be happy. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. it's a bad way to yeah. cope with so, things chronically. So find that healthy, cocaine. Yeah, cocaine. Exactly. Bro. Try something responsible. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like but, do, cut to Jack. <laughs> well, don't do it right now because it's got fentanyl in it. But just wait, wait to. Oh no, never mind. The the did you see? Did you guys see the the signs in Mexico? No. What? The drug cartel fucking started a war against those who are still putting fentanyl in cocaine. Good. Well, because it's cutting down yeah. on the yeah. fucking profit exactly margin for them. I, seriously, yeah. People stop the free using, market will provide. People stopped using fucking cocaine, and they're like, well, why? Was you're fucking killing them with fentanyl. Like, yeah. why do you think? And so they put out a fucking hit. Any other cartel using fentanyl in their fucking cocaine to mix it, is gonna get wiped the fuck out. To, to I just, me, I just like imagine this. It's like, pow! Yeah. It's like, Essay, why you kill him? Okay, first off, he made the drug that was killing my clients. I ain't about that shit. Yep, okay, much. I'm like, do the it's real like a green stop sign. It's like, good. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Right. Unsub sponsored yeah. by cartel. Yeah. 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 All of them. <laughs> No 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 yeah we'll be right back I want to fly a ship over there Oh Jesus look back to it run get involved with the healthy community whatever your fucking thing is whether it be shooting the outdoors archery scuba diving running fucking I don't know, building fucking Legos, whatever the, your thing Finding is. Finding God's most beautiful yeah. creatures and, and killing them. Yeah. And, <laughs> and to add on to that, do not be that guy when you get out of the military, that grumpy fucking veteran on the internet complaining about how things were different in your time and all that bullshit. Yeah. Don't be that guy. You, you, you know which one's my favorite when you see these guys with a fucking hat that says, medicated vet, stay away. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> you. I've yeah. never seen. Someone needs to <laughs> slip them some fentanyl, man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the community. <laughs> Brendan's like, oh god, the Veterans Day episode. Why am I on this one? <laughs> oh, I, I expected a good bit of this. You called me last night. You're like, hey, we need to do a Veterans oh, Day episode. I'm like, you, but like, huh? yeah, whenever, like, the, right, whenever fuck, the Department right. of Defense like makes some sort of major change, which by the way, major changes have been happening since the beginning of the military. Major change, yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> when it, but whenever they make some sort of change or something like that, and you just see all the comments section, the, this shit didn't fly when I was in. I'm like, well, you were in 20 fucking years ago. You don't matter anymore. <laughs> You're not part of the machine, and it's moved on without you. Yeah. You Although, are irrelevant. I'm not sure it's moved on in a good direction. No, no, no. I, 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 oh, no did you see the one that... It the, absolutely has. The young people well, I see on these USO shows are the same people that uh, that we were uh, 20 he, years ago. It's the same children that we're sending off to war. Uh, but no, they're just, they're, you, just as, they're, <laughs> they're smart. They're smarter now than we were. Um, you think so? Yeah. They, so what do you know? That's actually that. a good point. Is like, Jack, what do you feel on like, have you seen? So the 2013 is the last time you did a USO tour. No, I did one. Oh, uh, oh, 2021. 2021? 20, 2020, 2021. Yeah. So how was the veteran or the, like not the veteran, the we're infantry too. community? Yeah. In was that? it, was it all infantry? 
I've done those shows, yeah. What, how was like, the change on that? I'm just asking, like, because if you're like, you'll also have a different crop. You're you, doing, you like, notice eleven the Bravo versus like Patriot Missile. Guys. No, yeah, no, you you absolutely notice the difference in like yeah. unit culture and all that. Yeah. But but I did infantry shows. Oh, I was doing a show in Maron, Spain, uh, and like two days before we got there, one of them it was an infantry battalion of Marines there. And one of the Marines fucking got drunk and totaled the vehicle. And so they sh- not just. That's infantry sh- still. So we're good. And so they're they masking out right they, now. <laughs> they, they mass punished them. Oh. And so these guys aren't allowed to drink and they're restricted to base. And we're like the first non military Americans they've probably seen in six months. So we show up, we want to put on a good show for the troops, but they're just being dickhead Marines, right? And I've done shows for every branch, almost every type of MOS, but I, I knew these were O3s and they were just heckling and just being shitty. I'm up there, I'm like fucking, I'm like, I out these here. These were officers? On, no, they were just. No. Oh, I thought you said O3s. Yeah, infantry. That's, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Like, that makes way more sense. Came I was like, here officers for heckling? my Thanksgiving <laughs> getting talked to about a bunch of little 20 year old little baby killers here. And, anyways, I. <laughs> I, I half jokingly said this, but half it came out out of frustration while they're up there fucking heckling me. Under my breath, but in the microphone, I go, there's got to be another war you guys can die in or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they're like, yeah! <laughs> Turn the tide of the show. They loved me after that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, Jack's material? <laughs> Okay, turn in the page to this, but yeah. <laughs> I know this playbook yeah. now. <laughs> Raise cool. your hand if you've been in war. None of you. You all suck, yeah. bitches. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're like, God, oh, this is so predictable. Yeah, you just gotta be it's mean like to the him. Bill Burr thing <laughs> yeah. where he yeah. just, like, did that really hostile show and just started like, fuck you. I'm, I'm not done yet. I got six more minutes anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then he goes and just yeah. do Bill Burr's. Oh, shit. Comedy That's gold. Hilarious. So you were talking about, who were you talking about earlier? Oh, God, no. I was making a joke about like the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, the Stinger missiles and everything uh but tim osman you neither of you are familiar with that term or no. that that name no that was We're the name of the cia well that was the cia's code name for uh an operative that we had in afghanistan uh by the name of uh actual name of osama bin laden <laughs> yeah. i love the military. let's just say it we funded 9-11 <laughs> and that way it was an inside job <laughs> We um, roll the clip. <laughs> we didn't have nothing to do with a lot of that stuff over there. It was we funded a lot of people and gave a lot of training to a lot of people that, you know, the U.S. military or not even the military, but the United States federal government has a really long history of just giving money and training and support to entities overseas that, that are going to turn a, later about yeah. 10, 20, 30 yeah. years later. We should make them sign overseas. We should make them sign a no compete clause, you know man. What? You imagine we, we should just send more to Ukraine. Twenty years from now, you imagine fucking Ukraine attacking the U.S. They're not going to do that. You fuck. <laughs> that's what we thought about Afghanistan. Afghanistan didn't attack the U.S. Al Qaeda attacked the U.S. Well, well, same shit. Operating in Afghanistan. Hey, we wouldn't be here having this conversation if it wasn't for the beautiful, strong people that made that happen. <laughs> Yeah. This, this podcast is dedicated to the brave fighters of the movie. <laughs> 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 nice just rainbow like, reference. <laughs> you you just you, you you can't see where the geopolitical tides are going to turn all yeah. the time, and you're just spending hundreds of billions of dollars overseas on stuff that is not tracked, <sighs> and is really just it's and wrought that, with and wrought it, with fraud. And it pisses me off that we're sending so much money to another fucking country when go downtown San Antonio, you're going to yeah. find thirty fucking vets out on the street. Can I can I piss you off a little more? Go ahead, bro. I'll piss you off a little more. Some of the funding that they're now asking for that we're now giving them is for uh, providing for the future veterans of the Ukraine war. (laughs) Wait, is that a real thing? That's a real thing. You fucking kidding me? Speaking of the homeless population in San Antonio, uh, I got a little story (laughs) for you. Part of it. I got a story for you. So I lived downtown for five years. Just moved out here to the the country. Living in my country life. Um, but in the peanut factory in the peanut factory lofts and I would walk to this gas station every day because my cigarette addiction and I'd walk to this gas station I'd walk under the I-10 bridge at least you were being healthy you yeah, were walking to I was walking to, yeah. to get my cigarettes but there was this homeless guy that would sit underneath the bridge every single day and he'd just be mumbling to himself and he looked like shit just just mumbling to himself and every day I was like don't make eye contact he's gonna say crazy homeless guy shit to you but one day i'm walking by and there's a truck pulled underneath the the the, uh the bridge and a nice truck and a guy in a suit gets out 
and he's giving this random homeless guy money. And I look at the guys closer. This guy's clearly his twin brother who basically oh, goes shit. out there to check in and on, on his other brother to make sure he's okay. You told me this. Yeah. yeah and I, I really watched this heartfelt thing happen where even though he couldn't stop his brother from being on the street, he, he still, still wanted to be, he still checks brother. in on them. And the next day I'm walking by and I make eye contact with a homeless guy for the first time. Cause I see the humanity in him and he stares at me and, Called me the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did he? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, that, was, not... that was a hallmark. <laughs> that was a hallmark moment until then. <laughs> this, this, Jack's storytelling is the best. I was the, like, man, this, this is a beautiful brought, story. Okay, never mind. This story is brought to you by the cartel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like hallmark yeah. story. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like the little rainbow. Fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> I love being able to film it. Be, in my head, I can visualize it. All Jack's like watching up. It's like day two or day day eighty. You like walking out. You have your little well, you suitcase and you look over and you see the brother interacting with the homeless guy and you're like, he is human. Uh, he is human. So or, then you or you're walk just off, bringing him out like a but, subway sandwich that day. You're like, you know what? Day eighty one. This guy. Yeah, that's such a he's Jack like, thing though. Thank you. <laughs> and and you're like, like, oh, uh, <laughs> but that is such a Jack story because. He sees the good in everybody. I well, try. I just is, picture that is, that day eight, that yeah. day eighty is that watching the brother interaction. Day eighty one, you have it flash on day eighty one. Jack walks over. He looks at the homeless guy. Camera slowly starts. It locks. It locks onto the homeless guy. He just looks over at Jack. Light in his eyes. Jack's like nods. Camera pounces into the homeless guy. Inward. <laughs> He's like, ah! <laughs> and you just like uh, walk. Uh, like, go get my rest. Go get my mom a rest. <laughs> skit ends. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's why. Okay. I love how you imagine him holding a briefcase on his way to get fucking cigarettes. <laughs> I, I, I picture business, Jack. <laughs> Jack's always a businessman like, in my head. And then in the back of Jack's like, man, that guy's definitely a veteran. <laughs> 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 of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> that guy's definitely Red Horse. Oh, yeah. That's oh where Jack stole the identity from. It's from that guy hey. under oh. the bridge. D He's a method <laughs> actor. I'm, I'm serious. My life honor would be to go speak like at a Red Horse ball or function Bro, of some sort. Let's make this happen, yeah. people. I people, you've heard it here. I will pay your flight and go with you. Okay, let's I'm, do it. I'm fucking yeah. in. You need to start your speech with as a fellow comrade, I'm as sure a, you remember. At a, as a red horseman. Yeah. yeah. Just and, badly and, Photoshop yeah, yourself and, into and, the and photos. Just some shit up. And Charlie Company, third platoon. Oh, I guarantee uh, Jack has a platoon. What platoon were you part of with Red Horse? Uh, well, we, we operate in squadrons uh, in the Red Horse system. <laughs> it is the Air Force. Oh, it's the Air Force. Yeah. I thought it was the Army. Where'd you go to basic training at? Right here in San Antonio, Texas. Lackland? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's where I did like all good airmen do. Yeah, and then of course I went to my A school, my Red Horse school uh, later like, on. Marginally uncomfortable, but yeah. I love that Jack has an entire. I was, I was stationed. Yeah, I was I stationed with like... the 119th out of Nellis Air Force Base, and yeah, did two deployments to Iraq. We built, you know, like uh, the whole point of our unit. We we built some runways and bridges and everything like that. We we're engineers. And what was your most proud one? Uh, when I was in Afghanistan in uh, 2011, uh, I was a tech sergeant at that time. Dude, you'd have my money on the side of the road right now. I was a Dude. tech sergeant at that time. Uh, the the army had just the, the army had just pushed into this area that no one had really operated in yet. I guess they had some intel that there was some high value targets there, but they needed to set up an air base there. So we I'm went in. So we, uncomfortable. We went in. Can I tell my war story? Sorry, here? Yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Is this my not bad. My bad. Yeah, this sorry. Guy, Go on. <laughs> sorry, sir. Sorry. Uh, so as we did, we went in. Uh, we established the airfield, and we were able to start uh, landing fixed and rotary-ring aircraft there. And they were able to essentially build up a new base of operations in that region. Um, yeah. As it turns out, the cheat sir, code sir. for stealing valor is actually sir. having been in the military. <laughs> <laughs> I just, and then you can steal all the from, valor from the bottom of my heart. I just want to say thank you, sir. Thank you for your service. If it wasn't for you and the Red Horseman, you know, I don't know where we'd you be. You know what today. I say we all do after this? What's that? We go to fucking Chili's and get that 10% discount on Veterans Day. Wait, no, it's free, isn't it? 
Okay, I've never done it before. Is right. it free? It's a free meal. Oh, I'm definitely going to Chili's. Yeah. Oh, Brandon probably. So wait, you might know this. The a lot of veterans on Veterans Day will do the circuit. Let's we, do a video of Brandon fucking getting free meals. No. On veterans. Yeah. Oh my god, this is not the that. best idea no. ever. No. Oh where's my god, we my take phone. Brandon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna text my video. Guy. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's Chili's gonna do? Sue you? Yeah. I'm not worried about chilies. We start, Brandon. <laughs> we're starting in the morning. This is the unsub. We'll just go as veterans. It's the unsub train. We'll just vlog it. We go to. I'll, I hop I'll in the just morning. Pay no, <laughs> the, no. You got to save that for campaign. Money. <laughs> let's like let's get photoshops of him with a medal of honor around his neck. Yes. <laughs> Dude, the Fuck purple that. heart, Clint, the metal. I Clint, can you melt it? Overnight, I fucking it's hate so you guys <laughs> so much. <laughs> we, Clint Romache writes a letter to Brendan. It's like I direct you to, like I command you to wear this medal yeah. from a medal of honor what recipient. Are you say no to a war my, hero. <laughs> my fucking consultants, like you know, this podcast is gonna end your political career. I'm like, no, no, it won't. <laughs> It's like, no, 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 no. We could do a vlog of it yeah, a day bro, at let's do the, it. the gambit. And then, and then we'll pay for the meal at the end. Like you'll free meal. You can pay for a meal so for bad, someone dude. else. This is so bad. Yeah, you can pay for. Oh, yeah, yeah because we always. Would, all right, there you go. Pay it for. Yeah, all right, pay all right. Forward. Pay it for. Yeah. yeah. Pay for both. How about that? No, 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 no. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, Brandon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're an honorary you're, you're bet to us. <laughs> no one in this... Comment below if you think hey, Brandon's earned this. Hey, by the way, you dickheads listening to this, <laughs> you veteran dick, specifically veterans, you veteran dickheads, British just like, because you're getting a well, free like, meal <laughs> doesn't exempt you from tipping your waiter or waitress properly. You still need to tip. You need to thank them for their customer service. Yeah, you bastards. That's it. That's it. It's literally a day. So what people will do is like it's this full campaign of like let's eat as many meals as possible. Oh, I have seen for, that, dude. Yeah. It, it is a thing people will is do. Is it really? Yeah. You guys are pieces of shit. <laughs> They're like, I get, I wake up, I go to IHOP, but and then I go to the Denny's. So I know where we're yeah. going. Yeah. <laughs> and then I go. <laughs> where to, are we dropping, boys? Yeah, where are we dropping, boys? <laughs> Chili's, dude. Every meal you can get like one free meal a day. Denny's, let's, I think. Let's go, San Denny's, Antonio. Let's rally Applebee's. Up. Yeah. Like you just walk in there, like this is the saddest VFW I've ever fucking been to. <laughs> yeah. You're just taking everything to go, put it in the fridge. You're yeah. meal prepping for the week. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Let's, let's do like a let's do, let's do like a Jocko thing where we wake up. We wake up at zero four on our watches. Time to carpe diem this day, but it's just us hitting up IHOP, Denny's, Chili's. <laughs> we have like just a meal prep for a week. We're, we're waiting outside. Chili's. Come on. I am so glad this podcast is coming out after Veterans Day has started. No, 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 no it's going to come out on Veterans Day. Oh, it does. Yeah, it does. But it'll be too late, you fuckers. They're like, this is a great idea. Everyone's just driving. Look, we got to do this now. This is fucking great. There's going to be somebody Who's pulling a U turn in fucking highway traffic this podcast. It shows me by the end of the day, like a doctor's diagnosing me with type 2 diabetes. Who's and it's picking just, me up? It just says, good. <laughs> Um, here, so after Veterans Day, you're you're two type diabetes, uh, Mr. Mandeville. Oh, and then ja and then Jocko pops over. He's like, good. Well, I have a question with diabetes. I'm not an uh, expert on diabetes, but if you have type one, which isn't your fault, and then somehow you develop type two, do you have type three diabetes at that point? Are you adding them up? Yeah, if you have both of them, I don't believe so. Good. Okay, good. I think you just die really All right. quick. Well, falls off. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, well, you have a fifty percent lower chance of that happening. So, what was, what's the biggest hero moment uh, you guys have ever had? Not counting the war, okay? But like, mine. I was dating a woman with type one diabetes, and uh, she started going through the. This is this well, is a Jack story. This is a real story. <laughs> I believe it. I believe you. I uh, believe your stories. No, uh, I was in D.C. and she started going, getting low on blood sugar, and she needed something to bring her back. And so I kick out of that hotel room at three in the morning, and I'm running down the street. I get to the Wawa, I grab all the candy bars and everything like that, and running back to the hotel. Um, you forgot to pay. No, I remembered to pay, but like in my head, literally, it was playing your out in my moment head. Is theft. Like, I can <laughs> be your hero, baby. And I'll, as I'm running in slow mo, and then a homeless guy tried to sell me a newspaper because that's what they do in DC. <laughs> that was your big hero moment outside the military. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you for your service. Actually, I didn't do anything heroic in the military. That's the best it ever was for you me right to, there. You want me to tell you one that I had a, a girl that I went to school with, the Emmy, like last year? Go on. We were at a baseball game in high school, and I was sitting in front of her, and she was behind, or vice versa. She was in front of me, and I was behind her with a group of friends. And whoever was playing, I guess one of our guys hit the ball, and that ball flew over the fence. It was going to hit her in the face. And she says that I reached over and I grabbed that ball. And then she was like, you saved my life that day. And I was like, fucking right. I don't remember it. But I don't yeah. think that would work so well, no. Yeah, no, I, I totally miss it. And hit her. <laughs> <laughs> Chris but is like was, this. It bounces and hits a kid in the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I killed my, a baby. That <laughs> That's moment. a good hero moment. That was a good hero a good moment. moment. Yeah. yeah, you save a young lady's life. I, I've and just, now I'm sure she's a mom and she's trying to... Make sure her kids don't do drugs with fentanyl in them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Thank you to the cartel, by the way, for that. Yeah. Yeah, that's Thank you for sponsoring this ad. <laughs> oh, Veterans Day. How I love. <sighs> how I love it. This is We tossed this together two days ago because we have episodes. Two right? days ago? A day ago. A day ago. Uh, like fucking 14 hours. It, hey, it. I, I, see that, I see that plaque behind you. I just got one of those. Which one? The little, oh, yeah. The, Crispy the, the just little, got. The little plaque. Which? Wait. Your YouTube plaque right there. Oh yeah, why? I was fucking you pointing at that. I'm like well, the I one. The I know. I was so confused. I was like, oh, Henry? Oh, yeah, I was looking that way too. Yeah, I was like behind uh, him. I, I was looking at the screen. <laughs> but yeah, we tossed it together. I was like, okay, we'll get this, this. Uh, I was like, okay, crispy, uh, Jack, uh, 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 and I was gonna have Matt. Matt couldn't make it, so I was like, okay, we'll get oh, Brandon's a veteran. So I was like, <laughs> Jesus he's Christ. my first on the list of yeah, people of to go to. I yeah, was like, I was surprised Br you asked me to be on the podcast with this. Hero, well I know. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon's yeah. Brand finger. I should have never fucking come here, dude. Did you see that guy? He, he he's like an internet. <laughs> We're sorry. Did you see that guy? He's like an internet video guy. He's got that T-shirt that says "self-taught Navy Seal." <laughs> no, it's so fucking awesome. Yeah. Do you remember the little kid that was like, "You're disrespecting a future U.S. Army soldier." Oh yeah, that's him. Oh really? That's Brandon. Oh, <laughs> Brandon's yeah. like, that's not fucking me. <laughs> and now he can't defend him. He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that was Brandon as a child. Yeah. And then who would have thought? He's got three Medal of Honors and um, saved all those people. You remember all those people that were fight that were falling off the uh, the planes when we were exiting Afghanistan? <laughs> He was catching them with a net. <laughs> yeah. We just make yeah. Brandon has new lore. <laughs> People are gonna animate all this lore for Brandon. He's a hero. Yeah, he's running for District Thirty Four. I mean, I will take, dude. I will twenty three. No, District Twenty Three. U.S. Veteran District Twenty Three. I love like that's the thing I correct. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's the only. That's the only thing untrue is twenty three, not twenty four. <laughs> I shouldn't have come here. <laughs> you should have. Brandon's like, I, dude. I will take a million, million of you over. People are just bitch, like bitchy veterans. I'll take my boy. I will, I will give him honorary vet any day of the week because at least he brings happiness. How about a He's handshake? To, <laughs> same. Yeah. Uh, this. There you go. And, and he let me, same thing as I. This is a really nice medal that I did. He, <laughs> he keeps he, sliding back. Brandon, I said put it on. <laughs> take it back. And, and he opened his doors and let me come build my own AK, my first AK. Yeah, dude, you're doing red. Yeah. Well, that was like, awesome. A dude like you will do more for the veteran community than someone's yeah, just going to bitch about. Out. Yeah, if you're just if your letter, if you're still wearing the letter jacket that I'm a veteran, this was my military career. Stop. Wear an unsub shirt instead. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Merch push. No, <laughs> bunkerbranding.com yeah. forward slash unsubscribe. Yeah. What, I think, what I about, think that's right. Yeah. 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 What if that's your next shirt? Self taught veteran. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Self taught soldier. Yeah. 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 But it is. It is the difference between I'd rather have like one of you over a thousand of those because it is somebody that motivates not only the community you're going to be now you're running for Congress you do care about the veteran community you are yeah, I was you're, actually I was family. just talking to one of my consultants yeah. yesterday we were we were talking about trying to get on the uh, trying to get on the committee for uh, veterans affairs this this is the dude that's Which, going to make I, a difference I know someone that was on that committee or the subcommittee but they said that that's like that's like one of the only like bipartisan places you're, they still you know people still yeah. play their games there but like that's one of the few things that everyone can kind of get behind yeah. is yeah. the veteran stuff Look, but somehow just, they still it's fuck it up it's how to like, do it is the i want you to get in so we can ruffle some fucking feathers at the va because you guys can't see but nick's here and we we've been trying to get a grant from the va for warfighter scuba and they've been fucking dicking us around 
Yeah. Like constantly giving Bull. bullshit excuses and they're giving funds to fucking places like North Carolina, fucking uh, outdoor recreational fucking whatever the fuck bullshit is. It has nothing to do with veterans. Yeah. But they're funding those people and we can't get money to help do you, other well, veterans. Well, you don't, I don't even trust the government to run a website, let alone an entire healthcare system. But the the what VA I, is fucking broken. And, yeah. But what I do like about the VA is that they have all the fentanyl free drugs. <laughs> No, that's the. Those are the pharmaceutical companies that they outsource to. That's Pfizer, fool. Yeah. <laughs> I love this podcast brought to you by. No, 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 no. Fucking Mr. Pfizer boy over here. Ah. But it is. It, it is somebody yeah. that makes a difference yeah. in the it, community, it, it, and then having like that now sitting across, yeah. like just helping with the, it, everything. It's so fucking. Thank you. Like, from the yeah. bottom of my heart, like, thank you yeah. for what you're doing, what yeah. you're yeah. representing. I never, I never did any cool shit, but I understand the guys who do. For I sure. Think. And and we had this conversation, like, when we were filming a video a couple of weeks ago. Like, we, I was like, look, man, I don't give a fuck, you know, what you, like, what you're doing there. But I was like, if I can give you some advices, please help us out at the VA. Yeah. Please, like, help us get this shit going. And then he started telling me a story about his grandfather and how he, his grandfather got fucked by the VA and ended up fucking dying because of it. Oh, Am I right? Wow. Uh, or, not not or, necessarily dying because of it, but like it, he got really shit care and just yeah. like it, the, the story was like it, it was in Fayetteville was, uh, at one of the VA hospitals there and, and being able to look out the window every day knowing he's getting shit care and looking across the street at and the across cemetery. the street from the, the VA hospital is the VA cemetery. Yeah. And it's just like just how much of a mm. fucking machine it is. Yeah. It's just fucking disgusting. I don't give a fuck. No. And it's like I was telling you, like, listen, I, I he didn't, no he didn't one, end up dying, but he wasn't yeah. necessarily If no one ever related. thanks me for my service ever again, I'm OK with that. As long as we get good fucking health care. That's, as that's not, thanking Americans veterans for their service. Yes, actually care. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't want to hear it. The words don't, don't mean shit it. if there's no fucking action. Yeah, like, yeah. help us fucking continue to save other veterans. Like, why is it so hard? Yeah. So, yeah, man, I hope that you do win. We need you another get... Smedley fucking butler. Yeah. I hope you get in. I hope you fucking win. And I hope you help us fucking like change this place from the inside out because if i'm unfortunate enough to win yeah. I, i'm hope i'm able to make a difference in that way yeah because i'll be honest with you the only other congressman that i can truly trust that's in there is morgan latrell and yeah. that's it every all the other fucking rhinos them all these other veterans that are in there that there's morgan federal congress or is he state no he's he's a uh, uh he's Federal, I think. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've heard his name tossed around a lot. Yeah, he's a sure. fucking solid dude, dude. He's he's a great, great guy. For those of you that don't know who Mark uh, Morgan is, he's Marcus's twin brother. I wonder he's what the, district, because he's Texas, he's the older. Right? Yeah, I think it's 34. I think that's why I said it earlier, because I was thinking of him. But yeah, man, like, we need more people to help us, because if the VA does what they've been doing to us over at Warfighter, like, I definitely want to have you get involved and be like, hey, motherfuckers. Eighth congressional district. Eighth congressional, yeah. Sorry. I don't know where 34 is coming from. Probably. You guys want to hear about my favorite congressman? Who? Slash veteran? Who? Daniel Sickles. Let me tell you the story of Daniel Sickles. Daniel Sickles. He, he a, invented the, you know, sickle cell anemia. That, that's what he's known that's for. That's literally what I thought of. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you got me there. I'm like, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> what? You, Jack Jack Slater. Slater. you broke me. <laughs> you broke me. Ooh. <laughs> I've never seen Joe's yeah. speech. Listen to hey, I'll make fun of dead veterans, but Good race go. really makes me nervous, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is the best. All the veterans today are going to be like, that's the fucking Veterans Day episode right there. That's what they represent. Yeah. Everyone's like, we just want to support our veterans. Better so that, that's one thing. Like, I'll, Sorry to cut you off, but like, that, that's one thing I used to tell people. I'm like, man, I grew up in Fayetteville. All of my friends were veterans. All my friends' dads, like, er, growing up even, were veterans. Yeah. It took me a long fucking time to realize that the military sense of humor wasn't normal. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a little dark. Just a I little. tell this to uh, other comedy writers all the time. Uh, if you ever are looking for, for any, t not necessarily a military story, but any type of comedy story, if you want to get some of the best dialogue you'll ever hear in your life go spend a week embedded with like an infantry platoon yeah and yeah. just listen to the way those motherfuckers talk to each other you'll have great dialogue and great material for the rest of your fucking life yeah. they are so naturally funny in the way that they talk to each other yeah it's gotten to be how i rank war movies in my mind now is the banter like yes dude, that was, is police content yeah. so yeah. that's why like i 
I liked that. I, I, <clears throat> not to go down a whole thing, but like I ever since I ser- served, I, I've never really been able to watch war movies. It's not because of like trauma or anything like that. It's like I'm I've become highly critical. Yeah. So pretty much the only war movies I like are the stuff I watched when I was a kid before I actually got a glimpse behind the curtain. Um, you mean you don't like the Hurt Locker, the greatest war <laughs> movie ever? There, there, hey, there's been a couple exceptions that I really fucking enjoyed. I really, I loved, I, I loved uh, the Midway movie they did a few years ago, and I loved um, the battle scene in Bar- the Barbie movie. I thought that was really well done. Uh, dude, my favorite one. <laughs> they is knock the, uh, out one out of the park. What's the one with <laughs> Shannon Tatum where he's a uh, dog? Oh, the dog. I haven't no, seen not that, that one. one. Uh, the other one where he's a SF soldier. Oh, uh, stop loss or I don't know. No, it wasn't yeah. stop, stop loss. But, Dear John. <laughs> Dear John. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dear John. Yeah, That's Nicholas Sparks. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I but hate this. I so <laughs> Dear John, the war. One of the best war yeah, movies. Yeah, I know we need to it's actually the push best that. War movie of all time. We need to push that narrative. Mm-hmm. We'll start. Everyone, Crispy, go. what was that testosterone at again? <laughs> <laughs> it was at thirty. 36. This is how we know it was at thirty. The kids just really love Dear bro, John. Like, those, those I got a Barbie letters. movie and Dear John. <laughs> those fucking letters, bro. I mean, like, fuck. But when he sold them coins, <laughs> yeah. them coins that is that. Yeah, All right, so potentially <laughs> stupid question. When you're talking about a Dear John letter, yeah, did that start from that or was that? Yeah, before? it was because of him, dude. Yeah, no, but you know what? <laughs> well, you know uh, what I mean. Like, I didn't know if that was a colloquial term beforehand. Fun history fact about uh, the nobody term. answered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I think I, uh, I'm hoping fun. he's going yeah, to. Yeah, okay. Well, the t- Dear John did. I don't know if it had military roots, but it, it it's become popularized because of the military. Yeah. The secondary thing that goes into infidelity in military culture is the Jody. Yeah. Everyone knows Jody, right? Yeah. The origins of Jody being the name for the guy who swoops up your uh, girl oh. originated in World War II from uh, black Southern soldiers. Um, so it was a Joe D, Joe, and initial D was in Southern black culture, the guy that gri- swooped in and uh, stole, your stole your, your girl when you were gone. And when they went into the army in large numbers, it became part of normal military uh vernacular see i oh, never fucking yeah. knew so that like piece black of... confederate sol- soldiers no world war ii world war- oh well, i'm sorry yeah, I, yeah. I thought wrong yeah sorry yeah like black world war confederate II. soldiers no, that was but thing. Like, that was oh i know but like lot. joe d had already been like this figure in black southern culture for years that they yeah. became mainstream I think that's why I, like when you said black southern i was picturing that yeah yeah, yeah. no shit that yeah. i that's never crazy. knew that's where jody came from yeah. that's crazy I, now i want to know where dear john came from there's probably a. There, there's I guarantee there is a moment in history, and I'm going to continue to talk like this yeah, while can, Brandon looks it up. Thank you so, so much. The camera never and cuts there, to him. Bro, and <laughs> it, it came from the fucking movie, Dear John. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Chad yeah. Tatum. Think about it. Uh, that was a it was Chad Tatum there, there with was Rachel Adams. Adam. There yeah. was a first. No, it wasn't Rachel Adams. It was. Oh, the other shit. One. No, actually, it, it did a, not. It was a big boot. What? It didn't. It, uh, wow. The roots of the letter go back to war times, but to get more specific about it, the term and concept first appeared in a major newspaper in 1943 by a correspondent, Milton Bracker, who wired the story of Dear John letters and groups forming in the war. 1943? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a World War, another World War II. World War II, yeah. Dude, so a lot of comes out. That's crazy how that took. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah that was, that long. It's been into the. It's been ingrained in the military since the ni- World since War II. A lot yeah. of the stuff. Yeah, well, and think about it too. There was at one point there was an E eight who was the first one to ever use the word behoove, and then that fucking became a thing. Yeah. Behoove or, you. you! I'm gonna piggyback off uh, of what the sergeant major come, said. Come here, Maldoon. Oh yeah. God! Yeah, go, just, gosh darn it! Yeah, gosh, hey, darn. doggone! I just doggone. imagine. <laughs> come here, dang on, so like E seven <laughs> in 1962 was taking night classes at the community college, and he heard his professor use the word behoove. I'm like, that makes him look smart. Yeah. I'm gonna use it in the next my next speech, and now it's just a fucking thing. Well, I'm gonna behoove you, soldiers, and the other soldiers are like, that's a good word. I'm yeah, gonna, that's a good word. I'm gonna use that it. someday. I'm do, do when I'm gonna ask one day. Yeah. Okay, God, I hate that word. I hate the military so. We have some dope ass guests coming in next month. Actually, we have some. Uh, We've got quite a few. Yeah, we got quite I a few be here. You want? You're going to range day? No, he's just oh, planning yeah, on that? killing That's himself. Monday. <laughs> I, 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 That's where my boy is. That's why he's a veteran. That joke no. right there. <laughs> I've never been invited to range day. Come. I, I don't know where the fuck it I'm is. I'm not going to tell you now. We can't announce oh, it over me. this. Yeah, yeah we'll text, text it afterwards. Yeah, Jack and you are I, naturally I just, invited. I, you guys don't invite me because I'm a real I Mexican. I got invited already. Because <laughs> I'm a real Mexican and you guys are fake as fuck. What? Yeah, what? you're you're not even from America. 
I'm from Texas. It's, are you from? You, you were born in Texas. How many people? No, but, yeah, where were you born, Omar? No, but Texas do you have any idea how many people are like watching this right now, thinking like, te- uh, like Crispy's not black? <laughs> <laughs> I hear you cracking up over there. <laughs> that that, 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 that shit shit happens all the time. I know. I love yeah, it because like, even my buddies, they was like, "Your black friend, Crispy." I'm like, yeah. "That's actually happened to me a couple <laughs> times." Yeah. I'm like, I'm Mexican. That's happened to you a couple times? People be like, he's black, right? I'm like, no. They're like 100% beaner. Like, on both sides. <laughs> yeah, on both sides. There's no there's no yeah. black in, in my lineage at all. Water. Yeah. Water. Wet. <laughs> that bitch is still wet from when we me, came here. Me and, uh, me and Eli are just kind of like moist backs, I guess. Yeah, moist backs. Yeah. Yo, we're moist backs, I say. What's up, dog? But everybody always thinks I'm black. I'm here to say Oh, God, yeah, you are white as shit. He, he is. No, I'm tan. Like, it's because he's no. Asian. Oh, you're tanner than me. Yeah, by a bit. Bro, we should do like. We're like, with our powers combined, yeah, we're two with Mexicans. Mexicans. <laughs> yeah. With our <laughs> low income. Yeah. Our credit score. Yeah. yeah. Hey, if, 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 what's up, fool? Love for Impalas. If he's. If he's a W back and you guys are moist backs, I'm like, what's a I like a back? W, w back. back. Uh, That's the most you know, thing I've ever You know how I feel about race jokes. <laughs> what is a w I am back? so much more offended by a W yeah, back. W back. That Jesus. is what we're just How saying. long have you been fucking friends? Oh, I don't. Look, I don't I'm like to sense. use. And you know I don't use that kind of language. How long? You I can't say it to my face as a friend? I have a wow. new racial slur, by the way. For uh, for, for I want to get called a dry back. Could you please blur this, G-Van? Uh my new favorite. It's just somebody <laughs> called me that the other day and it just fucking cracked me the shit up. Uh, I was telling Nick dude, on the way dude. here, I did an event somewhere and the lady called me the N word and I'm like, first of all, huh. I'm Mexican, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just saw right up to that. So oh, dude, know. I remember yeah. you hit, this was a couple years ago. Three LeBron, bodies found. LeBron James did uh, you taco through, like, fuck you. He did a story on his Instagram where he was like, it was like taco night or something like that, but he started like doing like stereotypical Mexican stuff. And then Omar made this response video where he started, he like laid in, leaned into the black thing. He's like, is this funny? I'm like, oh shit, dude. That was like personal for you when you made that. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was Fried Chicken Friday. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, because he was doing it like with a bucket. I was like, oh really, motherfucker? You think Taco Tuesday is, I was like, fried chicken. I was like, what did I say? Fried Chicken Friday. And I was holding a watermelon. <laughs> Well, try, trying to hold a watermelon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm Cra- cradling. Yeah, yeah. cradling. Yeah, like, son of a bitch. See, I, like, uh, My I'm not, black I'm friend not thought it was it. funny. See, I, I sent it to them and they are like, bro, post it. When you, can like, make fun of, when you yeah. can make fun of everybody equally, yeah, yeah. that's per- That's, yeah. that's oh, equality. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Don't, don't and fucking then I be a bitch Jack, about and Jack shit. was like, oh, man, it's a little uh, I could find this exchange. <laughs> I was just like, well, maybe you want to fine-tune this part of the joke so there's no misrepresent- <laughs> misinterpretation there. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I understood the joke. It, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. it was funny. I just like W back now. It's going to be yeah. a shirt for us. It just has a big dub, like a win. The hard W. Yeah. If you go to Bunker Branding slash Crispy 11B, you will find a fucking W, w back. back shirt. I won't. Really? Yeah, we'll make it happen. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You already have this. that? I'm no, like, we'll, Matt approved that? Holy shit. Fuck Matt. He ain't approved shit. <laughs> it's going to happen. Crispy, we can can we get a synopsis? We're going to do a shot for Veterans Day if you guys are good uh, for it. Sure. We can do the less. Jack, are you good with it? Yeah, can you I'll give you the one? lessies. No, I can do one. I didn't do fools. I didn't do oh. fools. Yeah. Because fools are, I did like a little over half. Oh, no, uh, oh so are you getting, oh, hey, jumping off I, that wagon? What's up? Jumping off that wagon? Tomorrow oh, we're going to box. So, yeah, uh, tomorrow we're boxing. So we've got, uh, so I, 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 we're doing Sober November for the most part. but Why not we Sober have a, October? That wasn't happening. We, we, we have a podcast exemption from it. So okay. That is this. And then <laughs> Brett, we're all just like, okay, this is our one day. <laughs> just cram as much in as possible. So I don't mind fucking, doing it you earlier. Are a bunch of fucking cheaters. That's what you guys are. But I do really good. I don't drink that much anymore. We actually have quite the backlog on podcasts, so we're not going to do a lot this month. We're, we're going to be mostly good. Yeah, this uh, is the last one for the month because we're I so I just think of this uh, t-shirt, that t-shirt idea that Jared had that I think would be an awesome Veterans Day I'm shirt pitch. By this, this is a Jared going. Taylor idea. You don't have to say it's a Jared Taylor idea. You can just say the idea and we'll automatically assume oh, it's yeah. Jared Taylor. Is it, is it food plus object? <laughs> but like, is it food plus object? <laughs> no. it's. Oh, uh, damn. Then I would have never guessed <laughs> it was... Uh, <laughs> Paul Tip- 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paul Tibbet Slade. What? what? Who the fuck is that? All right, never mind. I would have guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was the Enola Gay pilot. Oh. Oh, that's it. Yeah. That's just the shirt. Oh, man, that's a hard To those who don't know, slave. the Enola Gay was the uh, bombing plane that ended yeah. up dropping the atomic bomb yeah. on Japan. Little, little man, little boy? Uh, fat man or little boy? Yeah. yeah. I think did it, little Which, boy was first and then Yeah, little man. boy. That's why I was like, yeah. I think it was little boy. Yeah. Because fuck Nagasaki, I guess. Yeah. And, some, and you know the story about the Japanese guy that was in Hiroshima survived the blast and was like, well, I got to get the fuck out of here. So he walks to Nagasaki and right when he showed up in Nagasaki... <laughs> Another one, the other one, and coming. he survived both, both of them. Both of them. That's just the yeah. worst luck in the gut. Do you know what radiation got that? Speaking much. of that, veterans, that is the uh, the opposite of Kukura Lucky. <laughs> yeah, that is the <laughs> exact opposite. Let's, of let's talk Lucky. all veterans for a moment. Those fucking those story. The last Japanese soldier that they found out still that was still like. In 1970. Uniform. It was like 75 or something. We like talked about this, right? We, on the yeah, podcast? Yeah. No, you missed it. So we had it last. Oh, you did. Yeah, we yeah. talked about it last. Well, I don't need to go into detail there. It's just like, of all the fucking war movies I'd love to be see, see be made, I'd love a fucking story about one of it's those It's basically dudes. extra spicy castaway. He, yeah. 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 He was hiding the whole fucking time. Yeah, and every time someone would try to approach him to fucking be like, Hey, uh, it's cool, man. This is over. He'd like shoot at him because he didn't believe anybody. He killed multiple civilians. Yeah. His own general. They had to send that. And well, his and, family. And he didn't they believe get, his family. Yeah, yeah they yeah. sent his fucking family, and he's like, Nah, nah, bro. Till seventies, thirty fucking years of fighting something that didn't exist anymore. He's like, Nope. And now they're just really good at baseball, and they make the cartoons you like, Eli. <laughs> Anime. <laughs> See, isn't this funny? You, you guys thought this was just a show about cum and talking about racist jokes and things, and we're making no. you learn shit yeah. by yeah. accident. It's if both you, now. Yeah, if, you, <laughs> if you want something different, head out over to my... Did I tell you I hit 100,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, dude. Congrats. Yeah, he Woo! got a silver play button. Yeah. My guy. Like, what are those called with you? What? A high five, because all five oh, fingers don't hit. Still a high five. I mean, I don't know. The, the, oh, yeah. Hit, yeah. Yeah. the other day I was at the gym. Right, Tarzan and Jane over yeah. there. <laughs> the other day. Wait. You can hold it. My wife does it all the time. I feel this one. <laughs> Why not that one? Because it's harder to gr grab. And I don't like it. I just like I don't like Listen, it. Listen, next time you're at the gym, <laughs> I don't that like bit it. Got me too. <laughs> next time you're at the gym, there's a machine that you sit forward and you, you fucking a do rowing back. machine. No, it's it's a. It's like a machine for weights to do work your back out. Okay, yeah. No, the T machine? Where you're, yeah, 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 yeah. And then in the middle has like a little rubber thing. Well, when you lift it, look it up, and there's a little sign on there that says, don't put your hand on there because it'll end up like this. Yeah. That's <laughs> it's actually Crispy's hand in the it warning is. sign. <laughs> yeah, I'm a hand model. That's actually a good little uh, little TikTok or something where you just have that and your oh, hand I've comes. I have a question friend. for you. I've already done it. I've already done it. Oh, okay. I have a question for you. Is your first gunshot wound still visible? No. Yeah. No. Whoa, well, no, not really. These are mostly burns. This yeah. Is, this is like. Do gunshots don't show scorn. up that much? No. I I still have mine. Yours is. Yeah, oh you well, you were at the barrel. It. You were literally at the barrel of yeah. your gunshot, it's which is worse. Bruising. That's yeah. significantly worse. Yeah. When you're at, that's where all. Well, that's what you're I think. lucky. That's, that was green. Not only get the energy the, the, of the round, but you also get the energy of the the rest of the explosive the, gas. The oh. muzzle blast, I think, is what charred it up to where I wasn't bleeding as bad because I think it charred oh, up my skin a bit. Shit. It also and it opens great. up a lot more temporary cavity. Damn, Jack. I don't know anything about medicine. I'm learning about this right now. Yeah, because it's crazy. it's the gas expulsion that like yeah that yeah. like oh. fried you've done that you're lucky it's green tip not right. like fucking the flash is over real Veterans quick. Day. Oh yeah, everyone, oh, yeah. happy Veterans Day, yeah. each and every one of you. Thank you to Jack all the cheers. veterans out there. We love we you love guys. guys. Love Bye. you guys. Bing. And then Crispy, you're gonna tell us. Actually, happy to all. Day. Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans except for Timothy McVeigh and Jeffrey Dahmer and the guy who shot uh the guy who shot Lee Harvey Oswald and Lee Harvey Oswald too. Not Jack uh, Ruby. Jack Ruby, just have, and Matt Best for not showing up. Yeah. <laughs> and just Matt Best for he's yeah. no longer a veteran. Like fucking twelve veterans here. Like, oh, fuck <laughs> that guy. Fuck that guy. Matt uh, Best, we're taking your dude, veteran I status made, and giving it to a, Brandon. Dude, I made a picture <laughs> of uh, Timothy McVeigh from when he was in Desert Storm. I made a meme where it said. Kim Kardashian can get a million likes for showing her butt. How many can we get for this veteran? I saw that. Yeah, that was me. I made that. You did. Oh yeah. my god. Well, Tim McVeigh would have been a lot more based if you know the FBI actually showed up to work that day and not just that basement full of kids. Oh <laughs> yeah. That was really weird that the FBI took that day off. Uh, anyway, cheers to veterans. Cheers to veterans. People are like, good. 
I love this podcast. <laughs> uh, uh, Crispy, what? Can you do a synopsis of your burn story? Your blow. You've told it before, but yeah. not on this podcast. I think the listeners out there, which that's. By the way, that that's one of the best. Uh, it's who we are. Videos, oh, it's, it is. Oh, it is the yeah. best. That, who, that was it's the who we first are. one that set the precedent um, yeah. for the rest of them. Yeah, I, you I think fucking. It, it made my mom cry. Yeah. Ah, oh, I said thank you. Um, yeah, it was uh, May fourteenth of two thousand seven. I always forget. It's been so long. No, that was oh seven. Um, regular patrol, regular day. We went out. It was a five vehicle convoy, and I was in the third vehicle. As a gunner, and we had five uh, in there. We had, you know, driver, TC, truck commander, uh, passenger, passenger, and, and myself in the gun. Um, IED goes off, and we're like, holy shit. First IED of the day, small one, hit the last vehicle, just blew the tire up. So we kind of, you know, assess the situation. We're like, oh, you know, nothing happened. We keep pushing forward. Um, and then all of a sudden, the first two vehicles start getting engaged from, like, the left-hand side. They're, like, they're getting shot up, and they're like, holy shit. Here we go. Well, they couldn't turn on that road because it was, you know, they were already gotten shot at. But the next road they could. So my vehicle ended up turning and becoming the first vehicle. So when we turn, I automatically I see the fucking I can hear the fucking rounds throw over my head. Like it's like, oh shit. I'm like, here we go. You know, fucking here's the adrenaline. And then I just get behind the 50 and I start fucking I hit a couple, killed a couple. And then at that point, everybody fell into formation once again. And then once we did, we start pushing forward towards the enemy and then i remember going over like the biggest fucking um bump we had ever fucking gone over and at this point we've been there for like 11 months like it's been a minute and so i knew the streets like the back of my hand so i'm like whoa what the fuck was that and as i was like processing like hitting a speed bump fast yeah yeah so i was processing like wait a minute that fucking shit a bit boom i mean fucking goes off it was the uh it was 200 pounds of explosives that they had buried. We found out this later on um, from the, all the research and stuff that they did. But they they dug a hole from one of the houses into the to the uh, road, and they started stuffing it with explosives. We got kind of lucky because the guy was a command detonate, and the guy was looking through the window, and he panicked, and he should have set it off right in the middle of the Humvee. If he would have hit the middle of the Humvee, everybody in there would have been dead. Cat, cat kill. Yeah, that's it. But he panicked milliseconds and it hit the back of the Humvee. So it threw the Humvee up in the air. Um when the Humvee so lifted came, it from the back. Oh yeah. Yeah. When the Humvee came back down, you're talking about a ton vehicle. It's fucking heavy. And then it hits. And then when it hit, my legs gave out. When he says a ton vehicle, this is like multi like you're looking at an up armored Humvee. Yeah. Like probably forty thousand pounds. Yeah, it was in eleven fifty one. Yeah. Forty so, forty thousand yeah. pounds? Probably uh, That's up 10 armored tons or twenty tons. Oh. Let me look up. Continue your story. I'm not good with math. Anyway, so vehicle goes up, hits the ground. My legs give out. And I remember falling inside the vehicle, and I fell on the right-hand side passenger. And that was uh, Specialist Harkey. And I remember looking at Harkey and looking at his eyes, and they were white. He was killed on, on, on the, just on the IED itself. And as I'm laying there, you know, I'm, like, just looking around, and I look over to my left, and I see... Fleming jumps out and Catterton jumps out. And I I saw both of them on fire, but it was like watching a movie in slow-mo and then fast. So like I looked at them and they were both on fire running away and I was like, holy shit. And then I just remember, man, laying there. And up until this point, we have lost like 15, 16 guys. And, you know, um, I was very mad. And, you know, I my faith had been like, fucking gone like i was like mad at god i was asking him how can you let my friends die around me and all this shit and i remember then laying there making peace with god i was like um you know i was just pretty much asking him to take care of my mom because i knew my mom was gonna like be the one to suffer the most when she found that i was dead my dad is former military so i knew he was gonna be okay um and then i was just like make my you know let my little brother step in and be the oldest and take care of my sister and all that and as i'm doing that i remember compost was in the front and he reached and grabbed me, and he goes, get the fuck out. Get out. He couldn't get out because his equipment had burned into the seat. <clears throat> and at that moment, man, I just felt, like, this fucking energy inside of me. And, I, like, I've been to now. I always tell, like, everybody, like, if either you're a believer or not, like, I just tell everybody I feel like it was God. Because I had this massive energy in my body, and I got up. 
And I can clearly hear somebody saying, not today, this is not where you die. So I get up, I man the gun, and as soon as I do that, there's there's enemy on the rooftop. I'm like, holy shit. So I start shooting. Um, <clears throat> and then as I was doing that, the flames were so hot that some of the rounds started cooking off and something exploded. I'm like, fuck, it's time to get out. And as I'm doing that, a grenade goes off and just peppers my whole right leg. I mean, fucking hits me really bad. And as a gunner, you're taught to jump from the gunner's hatch to the engine and then down. Because it's pretty fucking high. It's like six feet high. It's a high. Like anything at that, especially when you are you have your fuck LP. You have all your equipment on. You're adding an additional 60 it's pounds. Especially if your legs gear. are fucked. Yes. Yeah. When, yeah. And then. Yes. And then, so, and then if that doesn't work, you jump to the back. And then that, but both sides were on fire. So if I would have jumped on the engine, I'm fucking done. So I'm like, fuck. So I jump to the side. When I jump to the side, both of my femurs just break. And at this time, I'm on fire. And I'm like, holy shit. And then, you know, I was automatically was like, oh, fuck. Stop, drop, and roll. Well, I'm already dropped. So I'm like, fucking roll. And let but me just tell you. Did you uh, you say break? Were they, they just they like. They popped out to the side. Oh, fuck. fuck. So yeah. did they dislocate or did they like shatter no, like compound they, on the they, side? They compound shattered on the side. Like, like out, out the. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Because so with the femurs, just if I can, it is. Yeah. You have like the your quads and your hamstrings are the strongest muscles mm -hmm. in your body. So if you have a crack, that's usually what happens. Compound fracture, bone separates. Now it's pushing up. You can cause arterial bleeding. You have yeah. all these negative effects that, from that. On top of that, that's a hard bone to break. Yeah, it, it is. So now you have the hardest bone to break. Shatter sideways, pull in because muscles and have damage from that. So home, you yeah. like crispy, boom, boom. Yep. And to, if I recall correctly, you didn't really feel the pain at that time. No, no, not at all. So I, you know, did the whole stop, drop, and roll, and, and it doesn't fucking work. So that's that's a fucking myth. And I remember <laughs> <laughs> years <laughs> of the academy <laughs> wasted. Oh, this is Your why I love it. Firefighters been lied to. <laughs> stop, drop, and roll doesn't I, work. I kids. picture the enemies. They're like watching, and you're like, shit, shit, I'm on fire. Shit, and they're just like, what is homeboy doing yeah. right? <laughs> doesn't, doesn't he know? <laughs> And, and the globalists don't want you to know this. Stop <laughs> dropping roll. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> and then at that moment, uh, one of the guys from the last vehicle I ran up to me and put me out with a fire extinguisher, and they pulled out compos. Um, and shortly after, he's like, I'll be back. I'm going to go grab a medic. And I'm like, okay. And I had managed to grab my M4, so I'm on the ground like this. And then I look behind me, and I see a door. I'm like, well, fuck. Let me push myself away. Because at this point, I'm from here to, like, maybe Eli, and I can feel the heat of the fucking vehicle. Mm. So I'm like, oh. So I start pushing back, and I turn around, I saw that door, and I fucking put three rounds through that door just in case somebody was coming. And then I just sat there, and I was scanning the rooftop to see if I see enemies. And at that point, another buddy ran by, and he looks at me, and goes, are you alive? And I was like, I think so. And he goes, oh, shit. And at that moment, a vehicle had already moved in front of us. And so he's like, dude, I got to get you up. I was like, dude, I think my legs are broken. He goes... No, you're okay. I'm like, okay. So he picks me up, and I'm putting most of my weight on him, and we're walking to the next vehicle. And um, he's like, dude, I, I, I need to put you on a stretcher. I need to put you on a stretcher. I'm like, okay. So he's like, let me open the door. So he lets go of me, and my fucking legs just go. And I just remember watching him, the Humvee in the sky, and I hit thunk, and I'm like, oh, shit. And he comes over me. He goes, you okay? And I was like, I told you my legs were broken. And he's like, what the fuck? And the adrenaline was so high. I did not feel the pain. And so finally he loads me up into the vehicle. He goes, I gotta go to get a medic, I gotta go get a medic. I'm like, okay. I'm sitting there. The guy that was driving that vehicle was his first day in, in outside the wire. We were getting replacements for all the guys that we were losing. And it was his first day and he was fucking screaming and panicking. So I did what anybody would do. I reached over, slapped him and told him to shut the fuck up. Very George Patton of you. Shut the fuck up. Got the job done. Yeah, the job done. <laughs> hey, hey, listen to me, soldier. You see these legs? To, to be perfectly honest, if we're comparing trauma here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, and then shortly after that, uh, medic jumps in. He starts working on me. And I'm like, hey, man, I, I, I need some water. Like, I was, at this point, I got really thirsty. And he was like, I can't give you any water just yet. You know, I can't give you any water. I was like, give me some fucking water. And he finally gives me some, and I took a sip, and I'm like, he's like, just take small sips, take small. I'm like, okay. And then I made the biggest mistake of my life. I poured water over my head. Mm. 
So the chemicals from the IED, from the fire extinguisher, the dirt in Iraq, um, everything just fucking went down in my eyes and I went fucking, I couldn't really see. And I'm like, fuck. And then um, at this point, we just hear like, hey, we're good to go. We're good to go. We're good to go. Let's push. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And I look, I was like, give me the headset. So I grabbed the headset from the guy, put him on. And I was like, what order are we in? The convoy, he goes first. I'm like, fuck. I was like, you know how to get back? He goes, nope. And at that point, I was like, either I panic or I tell this fucking guy how to get back. Because, again, we've been there 11 months. I knew that place like the back of my hand. You get your routes down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows. You fucking know how to get back regardless. And so I started giving them instructions. And then... Um, so you already knew the orientation of where I, your hobby was. Perfectly yeah. where we were at. Yeah. You yeah. hammer this shit. Just yeah. to, You hammer it in your head. Like, doing dismounted patrols. I could walk half a mile and ha- land exactly at the house I needed to. Like hot girl house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hot girl house. I told the story about we had one hot girl house in all of... Uh, four corners in Baghdad, oh, and yeah, everyone yeah. knew Hot Girl oh, House. Yeah. yeah, I can tell you on, on FBCB2 right now to this day <laughs> where Hot <laughs> Girl House yeah. is. Yeah. And so, you know, we, we started making our way back, and then I'm like, let me know when you see the gate. He saw it, and I called it up. I was like, hey, I'm coming in. I got I got one KIA, and I got four uh, WI wounded in action. And they were like, okay. They had no idea I was one of them. So we roll in. Uh, they open the door, and my buddy opens the door, and I look at him, and I'm just naked. He's like, we got to get you out. I'm like, okay. So he goes to grab me. And when he grabs me by the arms, mm. he, my whole skin just went. Mm. And he's looking at me like fucking freaking out. And I close the door because I knew we only had three medics. I was like, go get the other guys. They're worse than I am. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? He opens the door again. He goes, and we, we were lucky that there was an SF compound right next to us. Oh, so they medic- got the best. 18, yeah. Yeah. So their medic came over, and they're like, no, no, we have this guy here. And I was like, okay. So they pulled me out. They put me in the eight station. I'm laying there. I see the other three guys come in, and no one, everybody was nonverbal. I mean, you know, from the trauma and shit. And then um, they call the medevac. Medevac shows up. We get loaded on the bird. And, man... I remember fucking smelling fucking heaven and I look up and it's a fucking, it's a fly medic chick and just smell <laughs> that fucking oh. perfume. And I was like, how are you doing? And she's looking at me like, what the fuck is like, what are you doing after this? Yeah. And like, yeah. I don't remember. Are you hitting on me right yeah, now? Yeah, really? Yeah, I was so high yeah. on fucking, on uh, morphine and everything that I'm like, what are you doing after this? <laughs> <laughs> I told, I, I told them about the desert Queens. Well, uh, like a, a couple of weeks ago, I was like, "We have desert queens." Yeah, <laughs> that you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. even that blown was, up, burnt. Chris be like, "That was definitely hey, a desert queen." Sup? And, and <laughs> I ended up, I ended up seeing her again at Bamsi. She was doing some training at Bamsi, and she's like, "You might not remember me, but uh, I, uh, I'm so and so." And I was like, "Oh, I remember." And anyway, so um, ended up at ended up at. What'd Fort- you fuck up? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, I ended up back at, uh, I ended up, I got injured in two, uh, May 14th. By May 16th, I was walking through the doors of Brook Army Medical Center. And they were, uh, you know, they started working on me, and I spent three years there. Um, I was in an induced coma for a couple of months. And then as a result of that, I sustained 75% burns to the body, third and fourth degree burns, and then had a amputation below the right leg. Uh, How many surgeries? Uh, I'm currently at 106. And then, and uh, and uh, even since I've known you, you've probably done half a dozen. Uh, oh, yeah. I remember yeah. your 100th. So yeah, it came yeah, in yeah. like 2000, what, 19? Yeah, what? I think, no, seven, 17. 17. It was yeah, just yeah. when we just yeah. met for the first time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was celebrating. That, that, that must have been like right before we met, actually. I think, think it was. Yeah. yeah, it was right before that because I had gam- I had my leg amputated in sixteen, and I think. I oh, really? Sixteen, really? Yeah. No shit! Wow, that yeah, late. we did nine years limb salvage on it. I used to have a club foot, kind of like a diabetic cut. No shit! Because that's how much the fucking grenade cut off of me so that day. I, I'm learning shit. I I thought you had had your <laughs> fucking leg taken no, no, pretty no, no, early. No. It was a I light, had, yeah, later. I amputated my leg in 2016. No shit! Yeah, that two, was probably that was two years before we met. Yeah, it was two. It was two months into me dating my wife, girlfriend back at the time. Yeah. Yeah. And where a lot of guys have to be like, hey, I got to tell you something. I have herpes. Where you're like, hey, I'm going to get my leg chopped off. Yeah. Yeah. And she was there the whole time, man. So, yeah. Good for her, man. 
That's awesome. awesome. But yeah, I've been uh, 106 surgeries. I can probably have another 100 to do reconstructive surgery everywhere. But That's going to be an ongoing thing. It is. It is. And yeah. it's, it's a selective thing. Like I said, like right now I could have like 100 more surgeries that I want to get done, um, whether it be, you know, um, doing um, scar band tissue releases and stuff like that because um, they get so tight and so dry and everything. And that's kind of like what I was telling Nick was like, that's why I kind of fell in love with scuba diving again. Cause once I'm in the water, mm -hmm. like my body starts to loosen up because of the water and the salt water. And I'm like, Oh shit, I didn't know I can fucking stretch that far. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like, Oh, look at that. I can touch my toes, you know, like shit like that. So that can, I can the have five, yeah, the five toes, the five toes. Uh, <laughs> I can have, I can have another hundred surgeries right now to help with all that. But it's just, it sets me back so much. Like I have to be, you know, I'm gonna be in the hospital and then it's two weeks to recover and then follow up this and follow up that. And then if it doesn't work, we gotta do it again. And it's just, I'm, I'm over that. Like I, I really don't fucking like being in the hospital. After three years of living there, like, yeah. I don't like to go. So. I think one of the most fascinating things you told me when we were discussing uh, your amputation is and I've heard this from other amputees is like when you're driving the car, you can feel the sensation. When I you're drive them on prosthetic. Yeah. Yeah. You, so you use your prosthetic on the pedal, but you feel it like what? it's yeah. your foot. Yeah, yeah, we, me yeah. and Brandon we, yeah, just yeah. like, we both no, jumped. Yeah. We're like, move. Yeah, it's, it's weird because I can feel my prosthetic as if it were my foot pushing on the gas. So it's kind of like a, a mixture of the prosthetic and uh, like phantom. And phantom yeah. 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 Phantom pain. Because I still have, yeah. I mean, when I move my, do my, you have the phantom pain? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When I move my when I move my nub inside the prosthetic, I'm still simulating moving those toes and and flexing that ankle and all that. So and that translates and translates. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense in the brain, but even though it's not there, it makes sense because even now, like when you like my brain is what's registering those nerves to yeah. like yeah. move yeah. my toes. Yeah. So well, then it. Well, what's crazy too is like 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 what Corridor did with the 3D printed hand and shit yeah. like that. Like oh, those tendons and everything. Like it's it's crazy how like. Oh God, the prosthesis like from World War One to where we are now and where we're yeah. going is gonna get so crazy. Oh yeah, it is. Like, have you seen that guy on YouTube? Uh, shout out to this guy. I can't remember his name. It's Michael something. I think I don't know, but he he lost most of his hand, mm -hmm. so he lost like his fingers and everything. He still got his thumb and shit, but he built like a chain, like hand that operates. Oh, it's cool. based yeah, off like, of like yeah, yeah. The here and, right? and he yeah. can he can close it he can grab yeah. shit he yeah, can yeah. do whatever but it's 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 so fucking mm -hmm. steampunk it's yeah so cool. i saw all that being developed at the hospital with all the other guys in prosthesis and all that shit yeah it's he, can, he can flay the fingers yeah. he can close it yeah, he can, open it's it so grab cool. drop fucking give you the finger everything yeah, yeah. dude that stuff's so, so wow it's super cool and that's what's gonna be ah thank you yeah. for sharing that yeah, man. man this is a fucking that's this this is a great veteran guys yeah that on that note, we are going to close this amazing yeah. episode down. Thank you guys for sharing your stories, talking, Brandon, especially you. Fuck Thank you, you dude. <laughs> Brandon, you are a true OG. Thank we appreciate you. everything you. you're Hey, I've got some do. extra Thank red you, horse best. swag if you want to borrow it. <laughs> I'm not an honorary member, you know. Yeah, but, Our beautiful but, people, where can we find you at? We're about, oh, and yeah. we're going to do the after show after this. It's fucking like 10, 20 minutes. But. So, um, yeah. Um, YouTube mainly, guys. Crispy Eleven B. I'm doing a lot more longer content on there, from hunting to, uh, <laughs> you know, going to the track. Do every just pretty much what we talked about. Having that belt, uh, I share my my life with you guys of everything that I love doing, from you know racing vehicles to archery to shooting guns to hunting to scuba diving. Everything is on that fucking channel. So if you guys want to come check that out, Crispy Eleven B. Help me get those numbers up, Jack. As always, you can find me crashing in JT's spare room. <laughs> Jack Mandeville, everyone. Jack Mandeville. I, I spent a whole summer crashing in your spare room. He did. Yeah. He did. Jack's about really? to... Oh, it was yeah. awesome. Oh, oh God. God. In Wimberley. I didn't know that. When I lived in Wimberley, yeah. No yeah, shit. He did. Yeah. Jack, you're about to start some uh, stuff? Oh, yeah. You oh, a YouTube okay. Channel, yeah, right? I am starting a YouTube channel. Woo! There we this, go. Because Thanks. of this podcast. Yeah. Because there of this go. podcast. And these motivational people that yeah. will be like, yeah. Jack. And you amazing community out there because I told Jack I to read the comments and he was like, oh shit, Eli, I read the comments. These people are mostly I, not pieces of shit. Yeah, I, I, most, I lost mostly. my first mostly. ever YouTube comment on a nice. uh, response to something somebody said I responded to. That was my first time I ever commented on YouTube. Long time uh, lurker, first time comment. Yeah. 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 
Ah, oh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, my goal right now is to focus on the content and writing part, and then I will be, I will be uh, consulting with you guys on the best practices and the yeah. business portion of it. Anything you need, man, we're here for you. Done. Appreciate it. Love yeah, you, we gotta man. do another video. Yeah, and it, same, same here. And you better fucking come to Range Day. Well, you text me when it is, and I make uh, sure. How about as soon as those cameras turn off, I'll tell you okay. when and Ding. where, and I'll let you know if I'm in town. And that then Brandon has plan. an interesting video coming up with a certain guy. Oh yeah, we got the uh, the the Inglorious Bastards fist gun. Oh, did, did I tell you about that? It's like the, the OSS Sedgley Mark II. Oh fuck yeah! It's the, oh, uh, I saw one of those in person. I was, no shit. I was I was doing stuff. Right, maybe we're not done. We're doing a. <laughs> I love this. We're doing this a big great. story on the. Actually, we should probably do this for the Patreon. Oh yeah, right. guys! Patreon. If you want to know the stories, check out the fucking Patreon. Appreciate you guys. See you next time. Love you, you beautiful bitch. Yeah.